Hello, hello everyone. Thank you very much for coming by. Really appreciate it. Um, tonight is gonna be a little weird. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that. Um, I am going to be playing the set beasts as I normally would do on Tuesday, but because of the new uh Baldur's Gate 3 collab, I have to push that now to Thursday, uh, push Cassette Beasts to Thursdays. Uh, also, also, I'm going to need to have to kind of abruptly stop for a little bit around 9 o'clock or so, uh, because I have been spending most of the day, in one way or another, making ramen. I'm gonna, I'm trying to make, like, a fancy improvised ramen. Uh, it is going to be a pork base, like a pork stock base, mixed with vegetable. Uh, then within the ramen itself, other than noodles, we've got garlic, onions, shallots, uh, mushrooms, and sliced bacon. I wanted to go for sort of a, a very pig-themed ramen. But I also made ajitama, which are seasoned ramen eggs, which take uh, around about, I would say, eight and a half hours. Yeah, more or less eight and a half hours to properly make. So since uh, my partner Epitome is going to be home at nine o'clock, that's when I will be stopping for actual dinner, for a little bit anyway. Also, um, as you might have seen, in the kind of mangled going live announcement, I am going. Excuse me. I am going to be uh, watching the well, a replay of the video game awards. I don't believe in them. I think they're kind of just absolute nonsense. Uh, no real award-based merit, but I guess it can be nice to see what some people, are, well, people, what some studios are revealing as their big announcements. Obviously, there's not going to be a ton of games that actually have a chance of winning, but the other stuff is fun, and, you know, it's fun to roast things. So I'm going to be doing that uh, in sort of a parallel play setup with uh, Gyaru Garo. Um... I don't know totally when we're going to start that specifically, or in terms of like where we're going to, but I think okay, so that would be around seven thirty, I think. Okay. Okay, I think that works. Ah! Thank you so much. Oh, Wiz, thank you so much for the continued support. I'm, I'm really flattered. It's a year and a half now. That's amazing. Hi, hi, B. I'm really glad to have known you for so long, and thank you for helping me find my way back. It's no problem. So I'm honestly delighted to be able to be a part of it. I, you know, I, I remember hearing this quote first in terms of like specifically, uh, like religious context for being trans. I, I, I know, I know, hold on though, I, I promise it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, but the idea was that sometimes people are born trans because uh, humans as a group we delight in creating things. And how wonderful and beautiful it is to be able to create yourself. So if I'm able to help people create themselves, even if it's just in you know, silly little digital cartoon form, I'm, I'm always really happy to do so. I've been doing pretty good though. I spent most of today gradually making a ramen that hopefully will turn out really good. 
Also, hello, hello, Jeannie. How you doing? Sounds delicious, and now my meal will pair pale in comparison. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I will do my best though. Uh, thank you. So at least for the first 90 minutes or so of stream, I'm gonna be in the uh, the peculiar hutch, and then uh, after that. Uh, it's a really wonderful thing, and I'm happy the communities we've formed have all been able to connect and affect each other in positive ways. Mm. Yeah. I, um, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I genuinely think that uh, getting into VTubing was one of the best things I have done to my... Uh, oh. That's right, I forgot I had the reactive up. Let me, uh... Be gone, thought. There we go. Uh, it feels like it has given me so much personal meaning in life, and it has been really, really lovely. Anywho, a doppelganger. Yeah, don't worry, I, I vaporized it with my powerful, powerful words. So yeah, uh, for the first 90 minutes or so, this is going to be in the open voice channel, so if anyone wants to pop in, you're more than welcome. Okay, let's see, we have wind... Astro. Okay, yeah, I think we're probably good for now. So if we're with Eugene, that must mean that we... bridge. I mean, that would be nice to be able to do that. Uh, the land keepers stuff. Hmm. I mean, if we can get that bridge up, that might actually help us access that area easier too. So. Yeah, let's uh let's try and do the bridge for now. Uh, let's see, do I have Okay, let's get one more thing. Or one more shopping trip before we head out. One of those. Two. Not sure I might as well top off on those. I got plenty of resources right now. Uh oh. Hey. Hello, Beatrix. Sorry. Is this too loud? Maybe this is a little easier. I thought we could pencil in a quick meeting. Hey. You don't scare me. Who are you? Ah, oh, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. Are you an archangel? Archangel? Is that what you call us? <laughs> How delightful! As for me personally, I've been called many things by your kind. Arthur? Alexander? Agamemnon? Excuse me? Excuse me? I don't trust like this. You can call me Al. Huh? What's with his nice guy act? Hmm. I've been preoccupied for some time by an old friend. Fortunately, that situation has now been resolved. 
And now I return to find out this world has gathered more of my people? More archangels? <laughs> These are exciting times indeed, friends. The newcomers are wild and unfocused, but I see much potential in them. So I must ask that you don't attempt to intervene in my team-building exercise. In fact, I must request that you cease searching for my peers entirely. Okay, but I need to find them in order to leave this island. Oh! Oh! You just want to leave? Yes, I can send you away from here. The only thing I can't warp is me. A mirror doesn't reflect itself. I mean, it does if there's another mirror. This doesn't sound good. So be it. So be it. I shall grant your wish. Please don't come back. Really. I mean it. What? What? Huh. Uh, hmm. This isn't what I remember. Oh, oh, there we go. I still have my abilities, though, so I don't think I'm actually back. I can't read this. I don't even recognize the language. Worrying. I can't uh, magnetize myself, but I definitely wasn't able to do dashing like that. Oh. oh. Hey, sugar. You're looking you pretty lost there, stranger. You need a place to stay. Uh oh. Okay. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. You're lucky to... I found you when I did, sweetheart. You call me Ms. Amber. I'm the face of the Amber Lodge. You're mighty lucky. The Amber Lodge doesn't pass through those dead worlds often. Please, make yourself at home. Have yourself a look around. So, as you noticed from Unable to Dash, your cassettes don't work here. I mean, I don't... I don't remember being able to dash before having the cassette power, but... I guess I'm just putting thoughts in my head. Also, hey, Zikazav, how's it going? We're traveling right now, so there ain't nowhere to go just yet. Huh. Now, when I see the Amber Lodge, what I personally think of first is um, the, the curtain, the red room from Twin Peaks. I feel like from the jazz music, that's intentional. Oh, um, can I get a screen cap? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time at the M at the Amber Lodge? Uh, yeah. Miss Amber sure knows how to run this joint. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't like the look of that. The Amber Lodge really is one of a kind. I mean, so far, oh, I just noticed the map. <laughs> oh, that's a good detail. Why, I'd stay forever if I could. 
It's a well-polished mirror. It doesn't seem to reflect anything, though. Huh. Interesting. No? No, can't sing. Okay, I guess. Alright, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't- I don't like that. A simpler time. Um, you know, Alf? Well, he and I were like family once back in the good old days. Okay? There was a whole gang of us, and we had some mighty fine times together, let me tell you. Alf was like the leader. I mean, of course he was. That's his whole shtick, ain't it? But me? I was the ride. And Morgante was the keeper of the door. But sometimes folks just grow apart. Sometimes it gets messy at the end. So I left all that behind. Mm. I'm sure Alf's still trying to find his ticket off that island, even now. No way the old witch will let him howl. Or will tell him how, of course. Good. <laughs> but I don't want to bore you with this old girl's tales of days gone by. Are you an archangel? Mm -hmm. Me? Why, I told you, Beatrix. Uh, I'm noticing now that the uh, the people in the bar seem to be flickering in and out of existence. That's yeah. fun. That's normal. I'm just the face of the establishment. The Amber Lodge is the real attraction. Uh huh. Not to mention, you know all about walking around wearing an avatar, wouldn't you? I'm sorry? Ma'am? I have my fourth wall here for a reason. I would prefer if you didn't look through it. Don't worry, I won't tell. Now, I'm guessing you were stranded out on that rock because Elf walked you away, right? And before that, you were on New World? That island is like a fly trap. Folks slip through the cracks and end up there. Mighty unlucky of you, sugar. But as for the business with our triangle-headed friends, it ain't your fault if you got caught up in our old mess. I'll give you a ride just this once. Follow me. This mirror will take you where you need to go. Where that is, however, well, that just ain't up to me. Step through it when you're ready. I'm gonna take one of these for the road. What if you jump through and like the Mario's before mission select theme came up? Oh, it's not gonna let me. Yeah, boo, it doesn't let me. Okay. Take care. Take care, sugar. It was mighty fun meeting you. Oh, uh, do me a favor. Let's not tell our friend Al about me helping you out, shall we? Okay. Hey! I knew you'd be back! Okay, but like, what's to stop Alf from just doing the same thing to me again? <laughs> Don't worry. Hmm. Alright, so if I am understanding this, this triangle man, Alf, is an old archangel who's been stuck on New Arrow like the rest of us. Uh... And you were saved by a stranger after that triangle bloke sent you to another world. 
something he can do to others, but not himself. Gotcha. Yep. We don't know what this guy is planning, do we? It sounds like he has an agenda, all right. One that involves finding other archangels. Oh. I guess my question is, what do you want to do about this guy? He's clearly up to something, but all this stuff might be a bit over our pay grade. Uh, we keep an eye uh, on him if we can. All right. all right, sounds like a plan. Okay, well, that was... Hmm. Interesting. So, fun fact about the song you get after defeating every archangel, angel. Yeah? Uh, it's randomized. Randomized? It leads you somewhere else on each playthrough. Oh! So, like, it's a different. Is it like a different order of clues or different clues entirely? Clues lead you to different Oh. Oh, that's fun. So that's like their way of confirming that you're not going to be able to just like, okay, I've played this game. I know exactly where I need to go. The thing is, as soon as you figure out where it is, I believe you can go to the uh, place that unlocks it. Huh. Interesting. But but you have to know where to go and what to do there. Mm -hmm. Random. <laughs> so I haven't seen a speedrun, but I think that would make them be interesting. It would be interesting to see. Because it's already leading you somewhere else that would be okay. song to lead you out of here is randomized each save file like how the free bootleg tape in town is re interesting huh. that's really cool Here. How's, uh, going? Pretty good. I gotta say, I've, I've been feeling pretty good lately. All things considered. Great. Been, um, existing. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear you've been existing. attack is actually better, so I think we swap this out. Spit. Okay. Then once we get points, we'll use this. Okay, yeah. I think we got some set up here. Hmm. 
We can give this. I can see by uh, the tapes tab that you can see. Hmm? Yeah. Um... Ba -da -ba -da 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 hmm? Yeah, yeah I I've got Kuneko. Well, it is a pretty fun one, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Aha, splintered you. Ow. Ow, jerk. some health please I think I have any cure uh, yeah I don't have any cure items maybe I should try to get some oh uh just a heads up y'all there's gonna be an incoming ad break uh, but after that, it should be good for another hour or so. I promise you won't be missing too much. Don't worry about that. Oh, an ad break? I have to leave forever. Oh no. My greatest fear is realized. Okay, so we have to go up a little bit. Little puppy. Oh. Alright. Oh. Um, I mean, sure. Why not? We can give it a shot. Huh. An interesting book. Love this freak. We're not greatly set up for this. Um, hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Why art thou? Why can art not save you? Very rude. Wow. Ah. Rude. Health, please. Fucking rude. I really should have a new leaf on this one. So that would be something to add later. 
Is Cherno Alpha already five star? Yes. Ow, ow. Ow. Ow, oh my god, that's so hard. Ow. Holy shit, Eugene, no. No, Eugene! Eugene! Why does this always happen to Eugene specifically? I don't know. Hey, fuck you, bud. <laughs> it's gonna hit you very hard now. Oh no. Oh, and I got all of it back! Good. Which means Excellent. it's time to do it again! Like, I... I feel like the AP refund is actually an incredible thing for me. Because it's, it's really my, my entire strategy now is just building up to pull Vault Assault. Gambling every and then, time. And then if you can, just spam it as much as possible. Mm-hmm. And this will hit both of them again. Oh, Zira. Well, Zira, I think that you ought to know that you. That's right, Zira. I'm talking about you. You are my little hog champ, and absolutely nothing will change that. I hope that helps. Alright, so let's uh, go back and fix the tapes that just got broken. Holy shit, the, cow? Yeah, the double cow again. I don't know why it's been showing up as doubles. It's genuinely a mystery. <laughs> it's, it's just how strong the cow is, honestly. I guess, yeah. Let's see. Mm, that's Wait, right. Oh no. Is hmm? soundboard available? I don't know. Oh my god, it is. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I can do this. Oh no. Or I can do this. Or I can do this. <laughs> or this. But yes, uh, Cherno Alpha is maxed out now. So, uh, very, very, very strong. <laughs> Good. As they should be. Uh, I guess I could try to train up another elf list to get the uh, the Grumpus, but let's see. Grumpus, that's bug stacks. Or whatever, whatever the uh, the Krampus inspired thing in this one's called. So, do, 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 do. Hmm. It's uncertain, it's fine with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
let's do that so we can get rid of negative status effects. Um, we could also do a dock leaf. Just make it very much a healer support. I think that works. Right back here, wherever we are now. Alright, so, what do y'all think we should try and train up now? There's still, I know, a split bulletino. Uh, there's a split boltum. I don't think our kid can be remixed. There's a whole bunch of carnivipper things. Um... What do y'all think, huh? Who should we train up now? What do y'all want to see remixed? Hmm? Bird. Bird? Nevermore. Nevermore? Or the, uh, Sands of Time. Sands of Time? Yeah, we can. We can do something with Sands of Time, I'm sure. Do I want to swap myself out for something to train? What? Let's see. The question is, what do we swap them for? can't hear you over the music. Oh, my God. Um, the funny lizard man. Oh. Uh, Salamagus? Yeah. Okay. I, I enjoy the funny lizard guy. Why is crying so sad? You know what? Maybe... Giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Hello, hello, raiders. Let me uh, let me get out of here so I don't have to compete with the game's lyrics. Hello, let me give you a shout out. Uh -huh. All right. So hi everyone. Oh, you are also playing Cassette Beasts. Awesome. Excellent. Well, welcome. Good choice. My name is Beatrix Bunny. I'm a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do variety streams with a focus on roguelikes, digital artwork, and RPGs of all sorts. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those, then I hope you'll stick around. And, uh, tonight is gonna be... What are you so puzzled about? 
Uh, tonight is going to be a bit of um, a bit of a grab bag. We're going to mainly be uh, doing cassette beasts. However, I'm going to need to make a quick break to finish up food a little later. And we're also going to be roasting the uh, video game awards tonight. Where are you in the game? Uh, so far, I have I've met what I assume because two and two is all of the companions, and I've done the loyalty quests to unlock fusion with three of them. The only one I haven't yet is Eugene. What if I told you you haven't found all? The oh, I'd, I'd believe you. Uh, and we have encountered this many, oh, uh, this many plus also, uh, Shining Koneko number of Archangels. I, oh. Well? I'm thinking that the Rangers would benefit from some physical fitness classes. <laughs> We could even make it fun. How about dance aerobics? Sybil could provide a music playlist. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a cute idea. If you think you can manage it, of course. No sweat. I used to run a cardio class every week for five years. If anyone's up to the job, it's me. Uh, but yeah, I have, let's see. Uh, I have, I managed to have gotten most of my ranger captain's badges out of order. I still have no idea where I was supposed to find two, three, or four. Um, we are still where four of these offices through. I know where one more is that I think we got beaten up in on our last I session. That. Uh, and we are halfway through the Land of Confusion, theoretically. Um, hmm? Hello. There's also the one station that you basically did with the giant did that one. Hmm, I think I want to save up for... for oh, because uh, I have that. I think I want to save up for something like that, maybe. Ta-ta! Oh. Oh, wait, wait, I remember what I was actually coming in here to do was, uh, get some of these. Um, I mean, let, let's get one of each. Let's a fucking go! Let's a fucking go! I love that video so much. Mm -hmm. Vaseline spray. Oh, okay, that's fun. Yeah, that's very normal attack. Sure. Alright, so. Um, my experience, oh, that's a shame. Um, but yeah. This is where I am in the game. Oh, if anyone needs to raid and run, that's totally cool. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, if you're planning on sticking around, though, uh, make yourselves at home. Hope you enjoy it here. All right, let's see. So, um, I, I have good news. Oh? Other than life sucking. That doesn't sound like good news. Other than life sucking. Oh, okay. Um, I recently started. You recently what? I, I'm sorry, I, I think I need to see if I can turn up your volume. Understandable. I okay, it should be max now. Uh, what were you the saying? The microphone the the mic on my phone is a bit of a um I I recently started a relationship that I'm enjoying. Oh congratulations. Yeah. And apparently I have incredibly good job. You have incredibly good what? 
Uh, well, she specifically calls it uh, a dummy bottle. Oh. <laughs> well, congratulations. No, I would have never. I'm happy for you, though. You, you've been through a lot. It feels like you you needed some uh, some W's. Yeah. If I can find one of these damn sharks. Hey, come here. There you go. Uh, though, uh, unrelated, I think. <laughs> and I kind of want to try and catch both of these if I can. Metal wall. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's make a wall, I guess. Yeah, sure. Don't know why I'm doing that. Well, I mean, I do know why, but it's not particularly useful, so. Yeah. You know, it's fine, you know, it, it's fine. Actually, let's do the smack with you, and then. Ah! Let's record. I did get Todoroed. I got Todoroed on like a nerd. Damn, we all get Ow. got Todoroed sooner or later. Yeah, that's true. Undertow? What the heck? Why Why did it hit its friend? So that move is, is very right. interesting. Mm hmm. Uh, it's a very strong move for, uh, how low its cost is. Yeah. Uh, but the way it works is it always hits whatever was attacking just before the move was used. Oh. Oh, that's, that's tough to deal with. It's uh, like 90 power from the APA. I mean, that is very powerful, yeah. Um, okay. Fund walkers are clear proof that the monsters of New World must have originated elsewhere and cannot be native creatures to the island. The robotic walker exoskeleton of the pond walker is a highly advanced mechanical creation, perfectly protecting the fish within. I love this guy. He does look pretty fun. Very even all around her. Okay, good to know. Oh, okay, I guess I have more wall now. <laughs> sure. Holy shit, wall? Yeah, I've got so much. I got walls for days. Okay, let's do the same thing because I know I have the, um, the remix, or the remastered, keep mixing those up, the remastered of Padpole, but I don't have just it, so, uh, yeah, let's get it. Pad Padpole, I love Padpole. Mm hmm? Just a little guy. It really is. Right. Very little guy coded. The padpole is the larval stage of the frilly pad, residing underwater until it matures. Since it has not developed proper limbs yet, it's able to attack with its long tongue, which secretes a gluey mucus that can slow down any would be attackers. Oh, that's fun. Alright. Yeah. Right, let me the let more, me uh, tune for a second. Uh, oh, oh my God! Hello, uh, hello, hello! Come on in. Ah. <laughs> hello. Holy shit, Come on in. Rates. Make yourselves comfy. Holy shit. Hey, Malarthy. Well, uh, hi everyone. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Beatrix Funny. I'm a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do variety streams with a focus on roguelikes, 
digital artwork, and RPGs of all sorts. If you're interested in those, then I hope you'll stick around. This is my co-host, Channel Mascot Francisco. And uh, tonight we are trying out, well, continuing, really, our blind playthrough of Cassette Beasts. How was your stream? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully that whole spiel wasn't just completely eaten up by ads or anything. I should have the pre-roll turned off at least, so that won't, that hopefully, mm, sorry, I, <laughs> I needed to, I need to get myself a little more tuned in since I'm still doing voice training too. But hopefully you shouldn't be having any pre-rolls at least, we'll see. Stream was good? Nice! I see you are playing Soma. Not my particular cup of tea. I do like a good horror game, but I think Soma is a little too much existential horror for me. <laughs> Let's see. Legal Company is one of those games that I've um, kept hearing about. Mm -hmm. Never actually played it. I heard it's like, um, I, what was it? Well, I blink, so, um, hmm. yay. The story is more important in, uh, than the horror aspect, in my opinion. That's fair. I, I think. I think I get sometimes a little too bogged down in the existential horror of like just, hey, everything is going to eventually end and there's nothing you can do about it. At best, you can create like a, sim a simulacrum of yourself and try and use that, but it's no, there's no such thing as immortality in a physical concretely provable way and you know that's fun sometimes yeah it's great <laughs> i like Shuneko, but i i'm trying to figure out how to actually handle handle her in terms of a build that feels right you know What's your stat line like? What's my stat line? Uh, Kineko's stat line. Oh, um... Pretty all-around good, really. Oh, no, yeah, those are all just high stats. Um... Mm -hmm. Mostly HP. <laughs> Have a good night. Alright, thanks so much again for the raid. I, uh... I hope you have sweet dreams, and I'll see you around soon. Well, I believe she can learn a variety of different types. I think I'm gonna take this off because I wasn't really a huge fan how often that procced elemental wall, which means I'm just gonna be taking more damage for no real reason. I mean, if you want to remove elemental wall instead, no. Oh, that is true. Just get like a, I don't know, AP refund. I don't uh, think I have a second boost. AP refund. Uh, echo location if you have it. No, I don't think I've seen that one yet. I have AP steel. AP steel is fun. It's fun? Yeah. It, it does exactly what it says it does. Alright, I'll chop. It can let you build up AP just a little to do that faster. Mm -hmm. Is there a bizarre? Alright, sands of time. What do I want to do with you? 
icicles are it? Here. Wait, why can it learn ice while it doesn't ice? Uh, it's basically useless on it. Icicle dart? Oh. Because it scales with speed. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's not going to be very fast. Hmm. Oh, so I love the completely useless bonus effect on that icicle dart. Yeah. <laughs> it scales with speed, but also it scales with speed if it's higher. Oh, I see, I see. Very important to know that. I mean, I guess if I wanted to use frozen ground, but that still doesn't feel very worth it. Uh, I believe you can do haunt plus dog years with Santa time. Oh yeah. Um. Which is which is very strong. Especially if you fuse, you're just untouchable. <laughs> uh, 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 but what's off here is just generally. Oh no, I can't learn haunt. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Well, you can give it to an ally. They use haunt and Santa times life. That's true. Hmm. Boy, mind meld. Yeah, I, I figured mind meld could actually be useful uh, with roll again. Like, does that count? Yes, it does. It does pass your passives over. Alright, so, you know, actually, I think I'm going to give Salamagus the uh, increased likelihood roll again. Yeah, you can do a lot of... So, fun fact, we were just talking about um, Undertow and Mind Meld. Mm -hmm. um, this didn't happen to me, but I have a friend who got to a fight where um, multiple party members are there. Mm -hmm. Like, more than just the two. Yeah. And they used Mind Meld when they had Undertow. So what happened was that there was a chain reaction of the entire party just using go against each other. Oh no! Oh no. Uh, and they didn't lose. Which is amazing. Ow. Yeah, yeah, uh, just, they just didn't guess. I don't know. Yeah. How does something again. without eyes blink? Good question. Wish I could tell you. Okay, seriously, how does something without eyes blink? I wish I could tell you. That don't make no sense. It really don't.
Ass hamburger? Ass yeah, hamburger? Seriously? I just saw somebody uh, on your Steam like uh, notification called Ass Hamburger. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I like how the um, elf list looks ever so slightly like um, totally not Link. Hmm. And, and you know that gets that goes even further when you uh, get to the uh, the melee focused uh, remix. I guess I didn't really need to do that, but... Eh. I mean, a little bit of healing isn't terrible. Oh, you can double down. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyhow, let's just, uh... There we go. Damage roll. Ooh. Damage I mean, roll is the RNG move. I mean, it's very silly sounding. I feel like I have to try it, right? Yeah. It is, it is simply the RNG move. It's very, very funny when it works out. Mm. I mean, Avalanche is also basically useless on Sands and Tide because it doesn't have to use priority or anything. Oh, yeah. By the looks of it, you haven't done the puzzle around here. I might have. I don't know. Not with the doorways or anything. The, um... There should be a mission about like a tiny mall. Yes, I don't know what that is yet. Hmm. So I have to get up here first. I think it's a bit further south. Wait, did you never actually fight Captain Zed? Uh... Oh. Like, you did a side quest, woke him up, and then never actually, like, huh. fought him. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't. I should probably do that. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh. The fact that this game uh, will we'll probably not even get nominated for anything in the Game Awards mm -hmm. is a sin. Yeah. A fucking sin. Yep, but uh, the Game Awards are a bought and sold popularity contest, so. Yeah. At the very least, I guess it's kind of nice being able to see uh you know when things are 
announced as big surprises that no one's possibly saw coming. Like, like there's this that's not gonna probably not gonna get nominated for anything. There's the tower that's not gonna get nominated for anything. I think it was down here. Like not e not even for music, which is absolutely wild. Um, it's along the eastern edge. On the uh, along the eastern coast. Uh -huh. Just wanted oh. to wake you up. <laughs> hey, wake up! Okay, bye. He's a sleepy time guy. Okay. Yeah, he's a sleepy guy. Mm -hmm. Seem. We are both magnetized. Locked on. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's doing that. Mm. Uh, you can use sure fire in combination with um, sleep moves. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. I think I have an idea. I, I have a counter idea for that. But... Well, there you go. No sleep for you. It'd be a shame if someone got rid of all those status effects of yours. Get fucked. No, actually, wait. Let's not. Let's focus on that. Let's leech you. Lock him down, that's amazing. Hmm? With um new leak, you can just keep him from actually using the strategy at all. Exactly. That's why I set him up. Astral coding. Okay. I mean honestly that actually is just better for me. Okay, there you go. Now you don't get blocked on. Absolutely false. Mm. 
Watch out, they both know shield bash, don't they? <laughs> also, I don't know why Splinter triggered, like, my Splinter triggered when I attacked them. Because it's any physical contact. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's really good. Oh. Like, it'd just be extra chip damage, if nothing else. Oh, it's a shame that you uh, can't go to sleep anymore, huh, bud? He's <laughs> doing such pitiful damage. I like that I uh, brought along a, a hard... Fall to death. Fall to death. Yep. I, I like that I brought along a hard counter for his strategy without even planning to. That's amazing. Alright. Huh, oh, that's kind of a neat design. I still don't think I want to evolve the butt face to get it, but... You want a completion thing. Ah, uh, I guess. You're gonna <laughs> have to. But if you don't care, you know, then it literally doesn't. Uh, I used an incredibly cheeky strategy with Galagor. Mm hmm? Um, it involved, um, basically his strategy, if you've got to be honest. It was, um, Surefire plus Dog Ears to ensure I have just repeated use of Surefire while I was asleep. Oh. It's very funny. And Dog Gears also made sure I stayed asleep. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep punching you until you're dead, but If that's cool with you, uh, just continue to be completely, uh, impotent. <laughs> yeah, his strategy completely falls apart if you have any Metal-type attack. Great. I'm tired. Nice. Energy. Icebreaker. Critical hit on type advantage. Ooh. Okay. Got ourselves another roll again. Nice. Wow. Hey, I found him. He's here. Hmm? Here. What? Pat Yoshi. Pat Yoshi is here. Mm -hmm. There he is. He's also here. Yeah. Wow. I think that final blow woke me up a bit. Here's your. Still don't know where number two is. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to tell you, or do you just want to wait to see if something? I mean, I don't know. Mm. I could do the cup of coffee. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to knowing. Uh, it's just south west of Harbor. Of Harbor Town? Southwest? Yeah, that little island. Oh. So then I would have had to still have, like, I still would have had to go up north first, though, to get yeah. the swimming ability. Well, maybe I can do that. Mm -hmm. It's like a small chain of little islands. Yes. Oh, no, I'm yawning. Oh, I'm yawning. Sleepy. Big sleepy head. Hide sure no alpha. Hmm? I said hide sure no alpha. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
I'm certain it's fine. You can go on with him. Au revoir. Okay. Hello? Hello? Phew. Boy, the off-worlders really make a lot of stuff, don't they? Greetings. Greetings. I'm Skip, one of the ranger captains of New World. I gather and sort all the stuff you off-worlders make that ends up here. Electronics, furniture, you name it. It all gets washed up here and put to good use. <laughs> One world's trash is another world's treasure, after all. Say, are you that new ranger trainee? The one who's got a knack for fighting? I suppose I could take a break from my dumpster diving if you want to take on my challenge. Yes, of course. Save. Wonderful. Wonderful. Try to have fun, and don't get too disappointed when I beat you. I'm gonna grind your face into the dirt. Here we go. And then I'm gonna break your teeth out. And then I'm gonna destroy your kneecaps. Okay, metal walls. Interesting. That is an unusual looking wall. Yeah. Hmm. It's all very normal. Oh. Uh, oh, what a cute name. Thank you very much, Witchy Baby Bear GF, for joining the Waffle. How is it going? Just try to see how it goes first. No, oh, yeah, I, I would say that worked pretty well. Oh, that did a lot of fucking damage. Yeah. Okay. Is that at all? You're doing well. So uh, the strategy, right, is that the move invasion. Yeah. Uh, hits an extra time for each invader you have, which includes itself, its remaster, any summoned invaders, and the metal walls they make. Huh. So it can hit up to five times. Okay, so I just kill him first. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, just, just do the Pokemon thing and do murder very quickly. Oh shit! You're doing well so far! Fuck! No promises. I'm going to keep going uh, easy on you, though. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> Love that. 
I wasn't expecting this. Oh shit, okay. Well, fuck, guess I'll die then. Guess I'll fucking die, I guess. I do think we do that for that. Um... Mm. Stick this out. Invitation. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, uh, kill you. I think that works. There we go. That was easy. Oh, this would be very fun though. If I if I did have to refight it, I could just bring in Cherno Alpha and use Crumble every time they make a wall. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's uh, let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice and let's see what happens. Roll a one. It'll be funny. Almost completely killed him. His red HP was almost gone. I know, it's wild. Oh, I didn't even get to kill anyone. Okay, I'll take that too, I guess. Uh, metal. Hmm. Oh, copper chop. That's, that's not bad. I don't it's think. also spring-loaded, so mm -hmm. it counts as a ranged move. really kicked the shit out of me, huh? Maybe I underestimated you after all. Watch your back in town, kid. I s I'm gonna make you sleep with one eye open for embarrassing me. I love the characterization you've given them. <laughs> of just breathing extreme violence. <laughs> As for me, I should get back to sorting out all this stuff. Do people from your world really own so many things? <laughs> I can't imagine that kind of life. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that, that was really violent for no reason. Yeah. I don't think I've even seen a Bin Vader yet. Oh, I think it's Ira. Someone I know who scavenges wrecks in the cast iron shore told me he saw Captain Heather on an island way off in the west. Okay. Thanks. Holy shit, head cast? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. I have I have to uh, apply the appropriate sound effects. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
see. Not snooping. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. I thought Snoopin was more of a ranged attacker. I mean, it kind of... Oh. Well, when, when it evolves again, it is. Okay. I mean, it's still mixed, but, um... Yeah. Makes sense. You know, I just realized there's no possum Pokemon. That's actually one of the ones that uh, I had ideas for for fake him on. What was the idea? So, you know the move. Well, let me see first if I can find. So, you know the move substitute? Yeah. You know how, like, there's not really anything that looks like what Substitute Stall is based off of? Yeah. I was thinking combining Substitute as a move uh, alongside the, the, what was it called? Along with the uh, opossums like playing dead thing and how have, have you ever seen an opossum with a bunch of baby opossums I have how they're all just like uh, grappling onto the side of their mom yeah it's great my it's idea amazing. is the origin of the move substitute as well as the substitute doll is an opossum Pokemon that looks like about a halfway point between an opossum and that doll. Uh, and its special ability would be uh, when it gets hit for, like when it loses more than a quarter of its health, it automatically uses a, uh, it automatically makes a substitute without spending any HP. That's, that's good, I like that. Hmm. I think it would be a great, like, normal ghost type. Oh boy. You know, since it's That's always awesome. dead. You're right. Or is it? Mm, that's, that's the tricky part. Yeah, you know, that that all adds up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might not always know my stuff, but when I do know my stuff, I kind of have ideas about that stuff. That that sounds like a fun Pokemon. Is the first one like the tiny possum? I and think then it the would bigger have to one, be, the, uh... the mom possum with a mm. bunch of small possums. It could be Ghost Ground too, that's true. I kind of I like mean... the idea though of one of the ways you can find it is by shaking a tree and like, you know, how possums just sort of Rapple their tail around a branch and loop around. They're very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad break. Don't worry, are we, y'all are aren't we, missing stuff. Are we stuff. going to start riffing on the, the game awards soon? Oh, uh, let me see. I love how um hmm? the ad I got on Twitch wasn't even cropped correctly. Oh, fantastic. That's amazing. <laughs> They're so good at their job. They they really are, aren't they? Like I could see a possum like that evolving from just like a normal type a normal. Hmm. Or just being a normal ghost type the whole time. I need to be right back. 
Normal ghost is such a great dual type. It eliminates the only weakness of normal type, as well as granting immunity to ghost. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I'm not always super in on the meta of Pokemon. In fact, I would go as far as to say I almost never am. But I do like to think that I am able to put. You know, least kind of a, a little bit of thought into how I do stuff with my fake on designs. I'm just setting up because in a moment, I think, I'm going to be uh, starting in on the, uh, frick, what was it? The video game, um, uh, video game awards commentary. Just wait in. Dora sounds fun. Hey Raven, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. interesting. Hi, hello, I return. Oh. Hmm. Right now I'm just waiting to hear back from uh, my partner about the uh, stream. So, well, uh, see what happens when, when, when it happens. I could try to just swim. Try to just swim. Bubble is finding a place I can get back up. Because it doesn't seem to be one over here. Yep. Okay. I'm glad that uh, a giant Yoshi is just like a thing now.
Um, uh, this is one of the clobbers, but I don't think it's the one we saw. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, We'll never get the uh, the critical hit, unfortunately, since Beast isn't strong against anything, but... I mean, if you put it on anything else, yeah. since uh, Copper is a typeless move, but yeah. How to help not Mar Charles Sparkly? Uh, if you go south, I believe you can find a way to get up. Okay, if I go away? If you go south, you should have a, um... Oh, well, first I, I gotta do this, uh, this puzzle. Of course. Um, hmm. I haven't figured out how to get to the other side here yet. Uh, further south? Oh, that. Oh. Uh. I think, you know. What? What just happened? What? Did you see that? No, I was looking away for like two seconds. There is a big metal cube here, you know, like the, uh, the magnetized kind. So I walked up to it because, like, I was going to press E to pick it up. And then the second I touched it, it shot away at, like, a hundred miles an hour to the top left corner of the screen. I'm watching real quick. I hope that wasn't a mission critical magnet cube, because if it was, uh... I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that certainly happened. Um, hmm. that's, uh, that's going to... Um, but was that necessary? I think, I think the way up is a bit further south. Okay. That was really good. Ow. Wait, wait, I have it. Where is it? Wow. Excellent. Left and then south. Ow. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this is how I get up? Yeah. Ah. Oh, I think you did need that cube. Oh, no. 
Uh. <laughs> Can I get another, oh, you can please? Get a shortcut right here. That's a shortcut. Okay. You might have to reload the area, unfortunately. Oh. Uh. Closers. Okay. Thank you, Zigazev. I I feel very validated that I was not just imagining things. Yeah, that that definitely happened. As it turns out, it was a mission spot. Unfortunate. I think you can easily reload it by just going into a cave and back out, though. Is there a cave nearby? Yeah, just north, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Three and four chance of hitting. Ooh, okay. Okay, you little piece of shit. Oh. Oh. Ow. Yeah. Yeesh. There was some damage. Yeah, that was uh, a little silly, I'll say. Just, just a tad bit wacky right there. Perhaps a little bit, a little bit goofy, uh, if word. anyone could say. Yeah, goofy, goofy, <laughs> silly, <laughs> wacky, and. <laughs> see it. Oh. You, mm. you might have to warp out and come back. Okay. Uh, hopefully this this do isn't um, a catastrophe. Yeah. I, I, I assume, I hope that it's just the one area that like, the one mission that requires that? Yeah. Because otherwise, uh... That's kind of a disaster. It's live. Hmm? The Gamer Christmas is live. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, the, the plan was to do it, well, might still be, uh, to do it with uh, one of my partners. I'm just waiting to, to hear back for when they're ready. Understandable. 
really wish I had a closer station. Be really nice. Oh shit. That's right, we don't have a man of spear yet, do we? Hmm. A man of spear. Wow. Hmm. I know. That sure is a man of spear. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Of all the men I've speared, that's certainly one. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, right. Nice. All right. All right. Let's go. If a squirey gives in to their dark impulses whilst training, it is destined to become a mana spear. Hiding its face Same. beneath a black helmet, the mana spear fights without restraint or self control. Same. Yeah. Please, please let it be here now. I, I really please, want you. Please I, don't do this to us, Cube. I really want to meet this tiny little moth. Yes, it's back. Okay. It's a miracle. Don't don't do it again. I, I'll try not to. Okay, I have it. Ah, <laughs> moth. Um, okay, so let's see, where am I taking this now? I assume we can use the shortcut now. I think... Yes. Somewhere... Over here... switch over so I'll probably be back and call later Take so care. um do you, do you need me to uh head out uh, no that's right I'm saying that I'll be leaving the channel okay, okay. take care of yourself though you too I will be in chat okay. goodbye This, this looks like it's about to play. This looks like it's about to play some fucking licensed music. Wait, was that Fatal Fury? Wait, what? I just saw Fatal Fury special. Go back. That was Fatal Fury special. That was Fatal Fury special. Nobody's playing Fatal Fury special on 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 Game Pass, Samsung Game, whatever. When when Fightcade exists. Oh, what the fuck is this? Persona 3 remake? Sleep. Yeah, P3 remake. Sleep as fuck. I don't get like, but Persona fans can stay mad. This is sleep as fuck to me. No, I feel ya. Hey, so AB, I don't know why your your poogie isn't, isn't showing. I didn't know you came in. There you are. AB, this is my sister, Fleur. Hey. Let me turn up your volume. Oh, 
Oh, there you are, Faye. Hi. Oh, it's Persona 3, my favorite. Yeah, I, I was literally saying this is sleep. How could you? Because it's Persona. <laughs> but it's like my favorite one. I mean, it doesn't make it not Persona, so it's sleep to be. I mean, oh, God, to be he's... fair, to be fair, the problem with Persona 3 specifically is that there were so many bad choices made. Like, you can only actually make meaningful connections with one of with one half of the NPCs at a time. You don't get to actually control what the other NP what the other player characters are doing. It's kind of a mess. Mm, yeah, I mean this remake's supposed to make it better, but it doesn't Yeah, like that's what they're supposed to do, but like too little too late, you know, like I don't care about no persona. I I really do not care about no persona. You know, especially Persona 3. Persona had the best aesthetic with Persona 1. When they go back to that, then I'll be then I'll be pleased. Play Persona today. I have already played all of those games except Tactica. I have no desire to play Tactica, but I have more of a desire to play it than Persona 3 Remake. Yeah. Yeah, no, just just keep Persona as like like just make Dojins, you know? Like that's my enjoyment of Persona. Like like Kawakami, Chef's Kiss. Tai Takami, Chef's Kiss. Just stick stick to that for me. Hmm. Make Persona six, make them all a bunch of college students with hot teachers, and then we you know, we're good. Is this Dave the the Diver? This is Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver DLC. And he sure does like jiving. Yeah. Oh man, Persona fans are coping. Persona fans are coping hardcore. I just oh, hey, it's Dredge, it. too. I think? No, it's weird. I... Is that the Shadow Wizard money gang? That looks like... Oh, it's a crossover! Okay, yeah. yeah. I can get I behind that. Dredge. That's pretty cool. Dude, I realize all the Persona 5 Arena fans are hardcore coping, because they're like, oh, they're going to have a Persona thing. They're going to have a Persona thing. It's Persona 5 Arena. It wasn't Persona 5 Arena. Let me let me get your you guys at in the thing. I forgot I could do that. Content creator of the year. Oh, it. People make games deserves it. <laughs> people make games deserve it. They have made so many good videos. People make games deserve it, but Iron Mouth is gonna win. If this is user voted, Iron Mouth wins. Yeah, free, free. VTuber fans too crazy. They'll vote for anybody. It's true. That's why like. If you're if if you have a brand, you want to work for Hollow Life fans. They're the ultimate simps. They'll buy anything their Hollow Life tells them to buy. I all right, all right, Iron Mouse. I'm sure you're a cool person. I don't need to hear you talk right now. I know that this is a hot take and all, but like. I think it needs to be said. We're all thinking it. Someone needs to say it. Iron Mouse what? needs a lot more metal and rodent traits in her model. The name's <laughs> meaningless. I, I want to see a cyborg rat. What are we doing with this, Iron Mouse? Get it together. Wait, excuse me? What did- I misheard her. She- She just said, I'm not- I'm not a, a whatever, I'm just a hoarder, and I thought she said, I'm just a whore? And I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, what? Eh, I mean, game recognize game in that case. Yeah. Bonjour. I don't know who she is, I've never seen her before. Iron uh, Mouse? Is she... Not Iron Mouse, the other lady, the host lady. How's the audio, by the way, for the- I don't know if the mix is fine, with, like, my volume compared to the stream. Oh, I- I, Did... I have to have the stream muted, so I- I'm, like, going- Purely based off of what y'all are saying, since I'm also streaming. This is a blind review of the content for me. Okay. Sorry, I got ganked for a second. Give me one second, actually. I think I should go prepare a bowl right now, because we're just starting and none of the good shit is going to be on. I'm, I, I got an ad break anyway, so...
Enjoy the ads. You're in. Ch you're in charge, Bay. No. You're in charge. <laughs> Sucker. You're in charge. I'll be back. I don't want to be in charge. Oh no. We're in an Alice in Wonderland situation. his tea party being interrupted, so stay put, I say. New Atlas game? Yeah. Oh, they really do have everyone here. Cool. Oh shit, oh shit, the ad came at the worst time. This is the new fucking, this is the new IP, Fantasy Persona. Yeah. Oh, it's a Musou game? Let's fucking go. Yo, hold on, oh, never mind. They lied to me, they lied to me so fucking hard. I'm actually interested in this because, like, it's Persona, but, like, it, it's, it's not cringe high schoolers, you know? Hmm? Like, like, I am excited for, for, for Persona that is not about cringe anime high schoolers. Mm -hmm. I would play that shit. And it's an action RPG from the looks of it. Oh shit, the main character is a cute dark-skinned boy? Ooh! Oh, never mind. That was lighting. That was lighting. That was like, they tricked me. Okay, but is it gay? If this game isn't gay, they, they've lost me. If he has not, a, he has an olive complexion. If it's not gay, they lost me. If I can't be gay, they've lost me. Yeah, that's not lighting, it's an olive complexion. Okay, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It better be gay. Meta, metamorph, I thought it said metamorph. <laughs> Metamorphs. <laughs> I mean, what what member of the Atlas fan group isn't Ollie at this point? That's true. I mean, a lot actually. The kind oh. of people that get to that Persona Four fans, because they're the worst one of the bunch. They're definitely the worst of the bunch. It's kind of tragic that Persona games have gotten consistently less gay as they've gone on. I th I mean, it, they're appealing to their audience. Their audience is a bunch of, like, edgy, mentally 17-year-olds. Oh, wait, a trailer for the Fallout show? What the fuck? Yo, yo, Mojave's gonna go crazy for this. What the fuck? This wasn't the start of the Game Awards? I thought this was the start! Uh-oh. Wait, what? Wait, didn't you say it started at 3 p.m. PST? No, I didn't! I thought you did. No, oh. I didn't! I said 4.30 p.m. I guess you got it wrong. No, that, that was just a pre-show, huh? No wonder the announcements were kind of whack. Yo, is that AG on- Okay, well, we know who wins. We know who wins Game of the Year. <laughs> They would not have flown out A.G. Aonuma's ass if he wasn't winning. He wins Game of the Year. Spoilers. I'm not even joking. They would not have flown out his ass if it wasn't. We would... Bro, they just spoiled their own show. Yeah, that sounds about right. They would not invite the, his ass. Oh, so I was t earlier, earlier, I was hanging out with Demo earlier this morning, and I was saying the Game Awards is is actually uh, some Metal Gear Solid shit that Jeff Keighley started. Oh? Explain. Well, so, it, the whole thing is actually an ego play. 
to put to mark his name down, like like to give it, to, to have Jeff Keighley's name spread amongst the stars, you know, and to put him in control of video games. I mean, clearly it hasn't worked. I have no idea who no, this no, man no, is, no. and I'm the only we're person whose the opinions process. I talk. We're still in the process. We're still in the process. So Jeff, the Game Awards started long, long, long time ago, <laughs> but it is the closest <laughs> thing we have to the Oscars of video games. Except, you know, there's other awards, though, but that seem more legitimate, that are more, you know, fancy. You know, they're <laughs> more. They're, they're, there's an air of pretension to them. Why is this gut man in plate mail? He's probably with Baldur's Gate 3. Shout out to the plate mail guy. Big fan of you. Big fan showed up in full plate. Oh, that's the Sony guy. That's, that's the Sony guy. Okay. It's Tom Sony. But yeah, so he's he started the Game Awards with Kojima, because Kojima loves this shit. Kojima loves Oh, of course, he's a, he's a movie guy. He, yeah, he, he has he to plans. like this sort of shit. He loves plans 15 years in the making. He's yeah. just trying to get as many people watching the Game Awards, because it doesn't matter which one seems the most pretentious. The most legitimate one is the one most people are watching, and that's what this is. And he's just building, he's amassing power from people watching the Game Awards year after year after year, until like he is, his name is like legitimized, like he is like someone who you can't go against him in the video games. He is, the, he is Mr. Video Game. This is, it's his Metal Gear, I see he probably workshopped this with Kojima after they started making fun of him for being Dorito Pope way mm. back like 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, when he was D Dorito Pope. That does make a certain amount of sense. So like, he, so he was like, he, he was like, oh, call me Dorito Pope. Yeah, this is all revenge for D Dorito Pope. Like, I'm not a joke, I'm gonna prove I'm not a joke in video games, I'm gonna become video games. I'm very serious, this whole thing is just... He was working. He was workshopping this with with Kojima. He was like, Kojima was like, I got a plan. He was looking at, at, at like a copy of Metal Gear Solid 4 as 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 Jeff Keighley was like lamenting that that, that he's Burrito Pope. His legacy is Burrito Pope. Mm -hmm. And then Kojima was like, I got a plan. I got a plan. Faye likes this guy. Yeah, he's cool as hell. Yep. I like his you outfit. Like for, it's a good style. You, you like him for God of War. I like him. I know he's from Stargate. I know, I fucking know. He kinda has little Richard hair. He's still big. He needs to lay off the Botox, though. Is he on Botox? His face, his his face has changed so much over the last like five years. He could have just aged. He could have just aged, you know. Your your face does not go up when you age; it goes down. Maybe yeah, you. Do you know what if you how hung you know yourself that? upside down when you're aging? Yeah. <laughs> it goes it goes up if you work out. No. It do. He look at him. He does not work out. What do you mean he doesn't work out? Look at this guy! He's built like a Dorito! <laughs> Look at his shoulders! They're so pointy! That's his suit! Ben Star. Ben Star. Ben Star. Faye wants Cameron Monaghan. Never mind, it's just Elba. Nope, it's just Elba. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's just Elba. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be this lady. I want to play Alan Wake too. So bad. No, no, Neil no, 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 Neil no, 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 Final Fantasy 16, uh, it doesn't really even matter at this point. Dude, it's not Idris Elba because he's not there. We know that. My dude had more important places to be than oh, this oh, clown let's show. Go. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! It's because he's dressed like a samurai! Fantastic. He's dressed like a samurai! Hell yes. What the fuck is he wearing? Huh. Yeah. What? Is that a Howry? Yeah, he's wearing a Howry. Why is he wearing a 
Oh, like he's not even. He... Wait, is does he have a comma on too? Why is he wearing this? Cause he's a weeb. Oh is my he? gosh. He didn't. He doesn't. Come... I have I no idea. Stream. He doesn't come across as a weeb. He's definitely Chuni. He he definitely comes across as Chuni. Here, hold on. I'm turning up the volume for Neil Newborn. I'm surprised they nominated. Oh, it's because he's the most popular. I thought it'd be Carlac. Oh, Ben Starr's upset. Mm. I'm sorry, Ben Starr. He was just like, I thought I was the most popular. Hey, Gar, is, is it possible to uh, stream this in Discord? Um, it will probably be very laggy. Hmm, that's fair. It's. I think I'm already like a good thirty seconds behind here. <laughs> it should be on YouTube. Like, it's yeah, actually... I'm, I'm just watching the YouTube. Hmm. Here, I'll put it in the. Um... Yeah, I'll add. There you go. This is probably my game of the year, honestly. I just started I it, but play it is so very bad. fun. The only two games that might be in my game of the year that um, I haven't played all the way through yet, or haven't played at all, would be Alan Wake 2, because that game looks really good, really up my alley, but I have to play Alan Wake 1, which I don't want to do. That sounds like a huge waste of my time. Because it's a bad game, or? It's a stupid game. Mm -hmm. It's like I have to play a TV, a TDV adaptation of a Stephen King novel, and I'm oh, like, okay. nah, nah, I don't want to. And it's like like 18 hours long, so I'm like, no thanks. What? Excuse me? He wrote a book. What the fuck is he doing here? They're like, hey man, you got Matthew like, McConaughey, true detective. Good to be here. I'm here to announce True Detective, the video game by the creators of Disco Elysium. Actually, that, that, uh, that, that would, would kind of be great. I, I would love to see more of the actual dev team of that game that be able line? to do stuff. Yeah. If he comes... All they would have to do if, is Hideo Kojima just walks on stage next to him. <laughs> and then like he doesn't say anything. He pants he his him. No, he just puts it. He just puts his hand around Matthew McConaughey's shoulder, and that's it. And then like just, <laughs> it, it just, it is. It, it's totally Death Stranding too. He, it, Kojima's about to walk on stage. <laughs> Wait, what team? What team? The archetype team. Hmm. Never heard of him. Interstellar, bitch. Okay. It, it, they pick him because of an Interstellar. They have him because of Interstellar. Wait, what? Is he in Civ 7? Is, is, this, a, is this about to be Civ? Cause Sid, they have the money. Sid, like Sid Meier has the money to an EA. It feels like a weirdly, really weird choice, though. Like, Civ isn't really about individual okay. people, is it? It's not, but it has individual people. Like, it's, okay, well, Exodus. It's some bullshit. It's some bullshit, and they got him because of of uh, Interstellar. I don't know who Archetype is. What the? Oh, okay, this looks bad. Oh, Come on, no. man. Come on. You don't gotta drag Matthew McConaughey into this. It you kind of looks like if Destiny fucked Doom. And they no, gave no, birth no. to a child with no creativity. You know what this reminds me of? There was a PS3 MMO series that tied into a TV show about aliens invading Earth. You want to know what this looks like to me? What? That uh, that sci-fi game series from Wreck-It Ralph. 
<laughs> oh god, it does. It kind of do. It's totally that. <laughs> like, the, the girl's hair, the way their armor is yes. shaped, yes. the fact that her eyes are huge. Mm -hmm. Then fix it, Felix comes on screen. I'm trying to pinpoint where I heard this man's voice before. Oh, oh shit. Nope, nope, no, nope. mute that shit. Kind of looks. Kind of looks vaguely like. Why are they like, using, uh... using Muse? Why? They, they, they always use licensed music like this for games like this. If they said EA, if, if I'm about to say e see the EA logo, I'm like, all right, yeah, no surprise there. Did the main character Wizard look oh, kind no, of it's... like Justice Smith to it's anyone? Bad. It's it's bad. I saw Wizards of the Coast. I saw Wizards of the Coast logo. <laughs> we can uh -oh. move on. We can, move, we can pretend that it doesn't exist. Let's move on. That's how they got Matthew McConaughey, has bro money, has bro uh. money. Did that, did that main studio. character of the trailer, though, remind anyone else of Justice Williams, or is that just me? No, I didn't get that vibe at all. I was, I, New God of War. Face. Yeah, this looks like thrown. It's PlayStation Studio. Very yeah, it's soggy. It's God, it's God of War. It's God of War. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, oh God, it, I would laugh are... so hard if it starts playing the Sopranos opening with this. <laughs> so you're like, woke up this morning, went into God of War, announced a new God of War game. Are we killing the Norse people still? Yeah, it's still Norse mythology. Is this the last Norse one? Can we do Chinese instead? The other mythologies they showed off were uh, Egyptian. Japanese and Celtic. Yeah, we we shouldn't do to Japanese because it it wouldn't. Hmm. They I might wouldn't end, agree with it. I wouldn't they, agree with it. They might end up going to Celtic instead because of uh um uh, Mimir because he's also a Celtic god. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think they would do that. Ragnarok, Val God of War, uh, Ragnarok. Second DLC. DLC. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say like it's a little too soon because didn't this game come out like? Yeah. It's a too soon for a new one. Mm. Free oh, DLC. free. Okay, that's, oh. that's fine. If it's free DLC, oh. that's good. Oh. I mean, paid DLC is fine with me too, as long as it's like substantial, you know. I, I just, I'm tired of freaking like big games that are like, you know, especially story-driven games having DLC. Oh god, why is it a roguelike? It's a oh, alright. That's why it's free. They're gonna do a paid one. It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be bundled with like a paid one. You are in charge of- uh, were you patting yourself on the back? Oh, I'm so right about this whole thing being an ego play from Jeff Keighley. I'm so <laughs> right. He was patting himself on the back. Like, you- don't you- aren't you in charge of this? Like, he was just like, I'm so glad this game show allows for stuff like this. I'm like, no, you're the one that decides that, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, if, if, if he just comes out and just says, like, yes, this is an ego play for in order for me to become a figure akin to M. Bison, I, mean, I would have nothing but mad respect. Oh, yep. I know what this is. This is... Yo, VTuber fans, 
get used to this game. You're gonna see all of your favorite VTubers playing this game when it comes out. Every single one of them. What is it? It's Hoshino like a bunch Marinas. of ants. It it doesn't need to be anything. It's it's just the, the people that behind this game really like that the 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 rock planet, the rock dimension, and everything everywhere with the googly eyes. They're a huge fans of it. Okay. Not to say that this is bad, but get used to this shit. You're gonna be seeing it a lot. Cartoon Firewatch. I'm not uh -huh. getting Firewatch vibes. I'm getting a. Uh... It's definitely a co-op game, but I'm not sure what. I should... I, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know about co-op. Like, I don't know if it's even like a co-op. Big co walk. Your co-op is co-op. Damn it, I wish I had Aerith's stream yeah. open. I wish I had Avoiding the Puddles stream open. I wish it had it open. I wish I had it open. Because Aerith would have been like, oh my god, big walk? Big dinner. I have one, but I'll, I'll I'll do it. If it's easy, I'll do it. I'll take a second one. I want one it. I'll, I'll take a second one to pretend. Okay, the show is... It's a Gleam link. It's just a redirect link to Gleam. Maintenance. There's maintenance. Oh my There's gosh. maintenance. For, it's rigged. Oh it's god, rigged it crashed. What crashed? Oh, I I want to play this. I, I want to. This looks good. I I can't Ooh, believe I'm gonna play an Ubisoft game. We got Scam like, Legitimately looks good. Interesting. The new Prince of Persia. Scam create layers of countless stolen riches and goods soon. before waiting for potential this, prey to wander in. In recent years, they've oh, also cool. gained the ability yeah, to the fly, though it's unclear whether they use oh, their really wings cool. to do it. After the Prince of Persia 1 remake, um, Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake, I mean, was, like, awful. I, I need a, a good Prince of Persia game. I need my people represented properly. Cool. I like the dude's hair. And a Sands of Time I, I, gathers would. enough sand from what the environment. What do you mean I would? You it like can reconstitute like itself with a much well, more powerful I've body. Noticed. The 40 Winks is a whole I, I figure, able to move flying? its heavy sand body as if flying. it was light as like air. With hair like that. A punch from a 40 really Winks carries the weight of an entire yeah. sandstorm. I'm saying, I like, I want him to look, the, the best Prince design is Sands of Time. Prince of Zoomers and Skibbity, I was watching this morning, May and uh, Pyromelian uh, and May was is a master going, like, of pyromancy, zoomer, able not shit, only like, to breathe fire, but so control lost. it. So <laughs> they are like, often seen bolts? holding flames on the tip oh, of their yeah, tongues yeah. as a display I, I of their sheer spot. mastery it's over like the, the element. It's, it's, these, it's, it's essentially, imagine, uh, Lego imagine Fortnite? TPS, TTS voice, which is like thumb cell schizophrenia over images of really cute shit. I see. I see. It sounds like peak. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm turning the volume down. I'm, I'm not turning it all the way off, but like I want because I like this. I like I like any way you want it. That's the way you need it any way you want it. My journey. Is, is this Lego? It is Lego Fortnite. Huh. Is this actually in Fortnite or is this just its own game? I hope it's its own game. Yeah, because this looks like fun. I would, I kind of want to play this. This, this looks like it will fuel my my Lego autism that I had when I was younger. Because I fucking loved Legos when I was ten years old. Mm. Also, hi Alicia. Hi, if I didn't Hello. say hi to you. Yeah, I think I did. I I think I want to play this, especially if it has like any of the other like Lego collab sets, like like Sonic or or Star Wars or. I would, I would, I would like this. I would definitely build a bunch of ships. No, do, okay. Was that, was that them talking shit yeah. on that one D and D game where the trailer just had the first person? Yeah, Queen Bean, really we finally got your son. <laughs> it looked like it because it's the same situation. They were holding a torch, running away from skeletons in the night. That's the way you need it, any way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this looks fun. This looks cool. I'm yeah, good shit. 
I'm, I will not pay $60 for this, you know, if, if I could get this for free if you put this shit on Game Pass, I'll play it. When you want it, that's the way. You know, they, they, they got me by Journey. They sold me because of Journey. Honestly, fair. It is. It, it's its own game. Lego Fortnite. I, I, oh, no, it's I not. I give that one. Oh, it's not. You have to get Fortnite. It's in Fortnite. It said, see the adventure in Fortnite. Oh. I guess I'll just never play it then. Oh, well. Oh, this is the, um... Well, because that we know it's in Fortnite, it's not nearly as detailed. It's gonna last only for, like, a few months, and it won't be, like, as nearly as detailed as the trailer. That's sad. On. This is the Hell Hellblade people. Hellblade lady. Oh, uh, Senwa's Sacrifice? Yeah, she does a great performance, but, um, you know... You can gaslight the public all you want, Senuous and um, Hellblade people. I know what game you made. What? I know what game you made. You are not gonna- you, 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 you have not paid for- you have not uh, answered for those crimes yet. Especially with all of- all of those, uh, journalists trying to gaslight people into saying it was actually good. But what? What? Yeah, you know what game they made. No, I- DMC Devil May Cry. Okay. Oh yeah, they're team ninja. They're team ninja. Yeah. Is that yeah, like ninja team? Ninja team. Ninja team. Yeah. Is that like a particularly bad game? The DMC Devil May Cry. The, yeah. The one, the, the, the one, you know, the one that was huge. On DMC the Devil May Cry is not that bad. Um, it is. It really is. No, it's it, fucking not. It is. It is. I play character action games. It is. It is. You get triple S just for doing stinger million stabs. It, that, that's you're you're gate... saying words theoretically. What do, you gate, what do you mean gatekeep your shit? Singer millions like like you are rewarded for doing cool combos in DMC and Devil May Cry in general. Or any any character action game. I muted this because I don't want to listen to it. Uh, okay. just, like, just in case I get it's... just in case I get the uh, DMC you know? Look, it's 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 not the, the best freaking hack and slash game, but it's still like a decent See, yeah, game. Yeah. It's not bad. Hi hey Johnny Baghead. Yeah, you're right. Johnny Baghead is correct. Like, as a, if it was not a Devil May Cry game and was just trying to be like, not if, if it wasn't even a character action game, if it's it was like a that weird atmosphere again. Element, like, you like feel Chaos it? Legion, or like um, Makes my um, um, teeth. The, that Genji game, Days of Blade that we were talking about the other day. Then fine, sure, you know. Um, definitive edition. I, I, see, that's that, that's a cope I've heard for many, many, many years. It's like, oh, but the, oh, the this is a really cool it. design. I, I like this one. I could one. just play Devil May Cry. It's 5. an archangel again. I could just play Ugh. Devil May Cry Four Special just Edition. Just looking at it makes me feel like then it's go fucking not play supposed it. to be I here. Know. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You ignored my reason, instructions to stay put. From like IGN Don't or you respect me? No. Actually, Don't you realize just how important I am? No. Actually, DM, you guys just Buddy, I have and no me, idea who you are. Such rudeness towards a member of royalty, no less. If you refuse um, to use your heads, the, the I'll just have to take them from your shoulders. The by a sniper. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's like the most famous scene, yeah, where, they, where they're trading women like bargaining chips. And then one of them is a pregnant lady, and they shoot the pregnant baby. Oh. Also, DM DMC is like a bad DMC game, but it's still not the worst one. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 fighting for that with two, but two has moments. Two has some bit like interesting shit. You can beat DMC two by using just the guns. Oh no no no! The <laughs> gameplay is bad, but like it makes like it the other half is better. The other half is better. The gameplay is kind of bad. In, it's Ninja Theory, not Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team oh, Ninja no. makes Ninja Gaiden. But uh, those those posts got into the when so many were coming out around DMC. Yeah, it's exactly. a size Johnny kink. Johnny knows what I'm talking about. Monster. I don't know why there's still people caping okay. for DMC. I don't know why people still cape for that game. And you know, I didn't dislike. I didn't dislike that Dante. No, I mean his character design. They did a lot to make him unlikable. But when he when you the scenes when he's not saying fuck you i love shit. dante i think yeah. dante yeah that dante is fine like when he's not like that i think he's perfectly fine maybe not as dante sure but you know i think he's perfectly fine i could be worse. also the virgil the, the virgil design is good too i like the virgil design except dmc the still has the best mod yeah 
I mean, do you know which mod I'm talking about? No, it, it doesn't have the best mod. Are you forgetting the Michael Jackson mod for, for DMC5? DMC mod has the really funny but slightly racist Mexican mod. I know, but but there's also the there's also the Dante the the, the Dante Michael Jackson mod for DMC5. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, definitive edition removed. I forgot. So so um, what? they gave B B. Yeah. They gave their Virgil just redesign. He was overall a cool character still, but like they had a lot of weird scenes with him where he's just like they like he's telling Dante he has a bigger dick. Okay. I didn't forget that scene. He's just Shit's like, yeah, yeah. Are they brothers? They're they twins. Are. They're they're twins, but he's like bragging. He's like, yeah, and I got a bigger dick than you. You know, it's it, it's tr it wasn't. If it was done in irony, it would be hilarious, but it wasn't. It was done seriously. But he's okay. saying this while his character, for some reason, they gave him a fedora. <laughs> oh in no! In Definitive Edition, one of the patch notes was they removed the fedora. Incredible. You know, I don't give a shit about no senuous sacrifice who have not answered for the DMC crimes. If once, once those those people stop making their yearly posts for some reason caping for DMC, then let's talk. I don't- I didn't even like the story of Senua's the first game that much, the first Senua game I watched- Wait, there was the second run. one? Yeah, yeah, there, there, it's- it's Senua's, um, help- first one was Senua's Sacrifice, the second one is Senua's something, then the, the third one is Senua's Saga. Huh. What's up, Ed Boon? What you got for me? I did not know that. What you got for me, Ed Boon? Why are you in- Why are you announcing the best story? Also, for some reason, added Dante groping at Cat's ass. That's right! That's within the- that was in the patch notes of Definitive Edition. They added, in the ending cutscene, they added Dante squeezing the, the lead female's ass. Like, it tried so hard to be like- like hip and cool to people in the 2012s and like if they were just ironic they were trying to do it unironically if you commit to the bit ironically and admit that it's stupid like um like 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 gungrave or like the new gungrave or something then it can work of course it's alan wake too of course it's alan wake too honestly i i don't even know if i would even agree with that like, it certainly has an interesting story, but in terms of, like, how well that story is told, how well that story is communicated in a way that is not completely alienating and, like, isolating to the viewer, no, I, I don't think it did a good job of that. I have not played Alan Wake, I don't know the story. It just visually looks really interesting. It, there's a lot of interesting things happening, and so that's why I don't play it. You'd argue that DMC2 was trying to be cool to people in 2002? Yeah, I think that's the problem. And they were using something that was like actually cool and had its own brand of cool, and they turned it into something generic. Like that's one of the reasons why it didn't work out so well. And it, you know, we can thank we know who to thank for this. We, think, we can thank Keiji Inafune because he's the reason why that they they just licensed out a bunch of Capcom IPs to a bunch of like really strange devs. Sometimes it worked out like with like with um, Dead Rising 2. And then you sometimes you get your DMC too. You get your um, Dead Rising 3s. You get your. Uh... There's another big series that they did this, that Capcom did this with, and I just can't think of it. Resident Evil 6? Oh, man. <laughs> the, the, trying to look cool in 2002. Um, do you know the 2002 2003 Punisher movie? Do you know. Everyone has shown. And you not wish to leave it's this unironic. land and heed it's, my it's, words and hear yeah, my people, song. You, don't you, don't talk to you must rise to the Punisher task shirt. at hand. You must Punisher walk fans, the path sure. most slow. The western you wings must fly to the place only I they, have they known. They probably don't have very, um, uh, but that is where my chambers lie, holes now empty and alone. Yeah. Which is Venture there and head southbound where your wayward but, paths um, shall meet. Okay, 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 a different example, different example. A place where lost men have been drowned, where mud lies thick beneath your feet. A pool of water on the land near stones and graves where you must yeah, that's be. Not, that's... 
Okay, okay. 2002, 2002. Thank you very much, Chugger. <sighs> I man, I'm trying to think of an example you would get. Do you know the Do you know the Daredevil movie with 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 um, Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. That's trying. Imagine trying to be like that. Like imagine trying to say like you have a guy wearing all black saying some edgy shit like yeah fuck you. Okay. And what then the what made the early 2000s so uncool? Be, what, be, be, the early 2000s were so oh. cool. X Men and Matrix. Oh, this uh, this lady, this lady designed Bayonetta. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah. What your franchise lady. I'm a big fan of this lady and, and Bayonetta yeah. too, I guess, but mainly this lady. I'm sorry what they did to your franchise, lady. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You got out, though. You got out. You're not part of... You, you can't say... You had no involvement in what happened with Bayonetta 3. You can say it wasn't your fault. You could say everyone else dropped the bag. You don't quit, do you? So, they're definitely going to announce a new game. These archangels are pretty rude, this is the new huh? Game they're announcing here because the last game they worked on was Ghostwire Tokyo, and I don't mm. think they're gonna announce. That was a pretty momentous fight, game. but right now I'm just thinking about Wait, why Elf. Did she do that What's his Attack deal, huh? Blue, right? why did oh, she do that? did you say you have a new lead you wanted what, to pursue? The What's Titan? the lead, bud? Pool of water on the land near stones and graves where you must be. I mean, I know, be? like that's a generic salute. That's definitely describing somewhere like, on New World. Yeah. Shall we hit the road okay, again, yeah, bud? Game, game. You heard some rumors about something going down go on Piper Tokyo Farm, too, right? Not, we should try going there. I don't even think it was that bad, it's just I'm not interested. Okay, yeah, this is not Ghost Warrior Tokyo. This is a new IP. Wait, that was Thai. That was Thai on the building. That, that, that was not Japanese, that was Thai. Ooh. This looks fun. I don't know what type of game it is. I like the kinetic movement, but it would be nice to know what the actual gameplay looks oh, like. Oh, this yeah. is a, Yoki, a yokai game. Yo, this okay. This is a co-op game where you fight yokai. Okay, oh. I'm interested. Okay, and movie. Bima would have probably been able to tell us what that means. Like it sounds like a yokai thing. What do you mean, brand new world? That looks like the normal world, except there was. Wait, what? Oh, come on! Wait a minute. This is better not be licensed music. This better not be licensed music. This, this not sea be of thieves? Music. This does. It looks too nice to be sea. It could be. It totally could be. It totally could be. Yeah, nice CGI trailer tells me nothing. Yeah. I only care about those if it's like a series you're in it for like the aesthetic or the story or you know you know what is this this looks neat this not this is definitely not sea of thieves i turned the volume down because i have i don't know if this is a licensed song okay well barity thinks this game is awesome Okay, it's got kind of like a Bloodborne Monster Fuckers Unite vibe yeah, this, this going is, to it. This is a Monster Fucker game. Oh, creators of Ori? The, cr the creators of Ori just saying, yeah, we're Monster Fuckers. Oh shit! Oh shit! Man, Wait, please. I already knew they were furries, so like, that's no surprise. I, didn't know that. I mean, look I didn't at the know design that. of the characters in Ori. That's definitely I they were someone. Yeah. Okay, they got me with this. Isometric, if they, if they say like isometric, like Souls-like, or isometric Link to the Past style game, I'm into it. I'm into it. But like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more than just this. I'm gonna need more than just, just this, though. So like, if they come out, it, it, I, I think I'll play this game after some, a white guy on YouTube tells me it's good. <laughs> you know, like Joseph Anderson, you know, or Jacob Geller. They come I, out and... No Rest for the Wicked, unfortunately, does just make me think of Cage the Elephant, though. Hmm. 
Oh, it's an action RPG? Hmm. That still could be a Souls like. I thought you said we were winning Steam decks. <laughs> Those don't look like Steam decks to me. <laughs> yeah. What happened to the Steam decks? Okay. You will not advertise to me. You did. You are not advertising to me. Hey, J Daggy. How's it going? Hi, J Daggy on B Stream. What the fuck is the Lenovo? It, it, it's the type of computer, I think. No, no, the, the Lenovo thing, um, it's a lot of companies have their own. It's like a cloud thing. Like it hooks up oh. to, um, it hooks up to whatever your PC is. It just kind of like, uh, it's over. it's funny because both the Steam Deck and the Legion are both like their websites are crashing. <laughs> mm. Neither one of them is working right now. Lies of P. See that game would probably also be in my game of the year running if I played through Lies of P. I've only played the first start of the area. I haven't uh, picked it up yet. Too many games, just way too many games. And I I know I would probably really like Lies of P. How are you Fallout doing 70? today, Jay Daggy? Bro, I would not be advertising no Fallout 76. Come play Fallout 76 on this platform. Oh no, the second one is Senua's Saga. Okay, never mind. I thought that was the third. I thought it was the third one. My bad. I, I, thought, I, I hope thought you're not party. driving while Avatar. watching. I'd be very Sleep. mad at you for that. I heard the I heard Way of the Water was a good movie. I just haven't seen it yet. I don't like. You're, you're gonna have to take a lot for me to want to go watch an Avatar movie. It's all spectacle and no substance, and it has a lot of very weird, mighty whitey undertones. Yeah, like it's it, it's James Cameron though, so I'm like, yeah, a technical feat. This doesn't look like a technical feat, dude. Unless if you say this is a VR game, I, I'm failing to see the technical feat because you have a bunch of pre-rendered cutscenes. The trailers for this are so annoying on YouTube because they are formatted exactly like mobile game trailers. Oh, this game came out already. I, I, I remember hearing about it. Like, look at that. Mobile game today. Back to this game. What is this? Discord? Discord video games? Or are they about to advertise Discord mobile? I, I mean, they already tried Discord. to make Discord video games a thing. It didn't I work. New, I heard a new update's really shit. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done it. Thanks for the cringe, bro. Finally, a real journalist. Where's yeah. Animal? Yeah, bring back Animal. Animal's a Kojima fan. Bring back Animal. Gonzo seems contrarian. Gonzo seems like the kind of person to be like, El you know, Elden Ring? Ah, not that good. He seems like that type. I mean, to be fair, I fully agree. It, I don't think it was that good. I think I disagree. I think it was amazing. Maybe not sure. Not as good as some of the other Souls games. Why not? Well, I mean, to be fair, I also hate Souls games as a genre. Okay. So. Yeah. If you don't like Souls games, then yeah, you're not. You're gonna really not like Elden Ring. I I will say I did like it more than I liked any of the other Souls games. Okay. Non-contrarian opinion. Just very safe. Very safe, very safe opinion. Why can't we have the Muppets run and host and run the TGA? I think, I don't know. Oh yeah, Perfect Dark. Dude, didn't they announce a new Perfect Dark like three years ago? Probably. I remember that because Bimo was hyped for it. If we increase the numbers a little bit year by year, essentially we can entirely replace the TGA with Muppets. I think it would be funnier if we have the Muppets parody video game where we do, this is the Muppets Death Stranding. We're, we're gonna do Death Stranding with the Muppets playing all the characters. Who's the baby? 
Who's the baby? Um, we got options. We got options for the baby. Because it, it could be like Statler and Walt. Oh my god, it should be Statler and Waldorf. Oh no. Just both of them. And then all they're doing is just roasting whoever plays um, uh, uh, Norman Reedus. Oh god. I can't wait to see Kermit the Frog getting out of the shower shirtless and immediately chugging 30 Red Bulls and monsters. I saw a Code playing Cocoon. This game looks neat. Dredge? But not my kind of thing. No, Cocoon. Uh, I've, seen, I, 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 I've seen people play Dredge too. That looks more my speed. It, it's fun. Oh, it, Pizza Tower deserves it. It might not win it, but Pizza Tower deserves it. That guy was working on that game for a very long time. Mm. What even is this category? Uh, best debut indie game, I see. Yeah. I, I believe it, Johnny Baghead. I believe it. Oh, it's Cocoon. Dude, I saw the Pizza Tower devs. They looked at each other, they nodded, and they were like, Yeah, that was a good game. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think our game was better, but yeah, no, their game was good too. Yeah, I think Pizza Tower. I don't know. I don't know much about the Cocoon devs, so maybe they, this was also a passion project, like eight years in the making. But I remember seeing Pizza Tower stuff, like like screenshots and like gifs of it being in production in like 2017, 2018. Oh. Yeah, no, it, it was. It was Pizza Tower is like a passion project. By someone that's a big fan of the war of, of Jazz Jackrabbit and the Wario Land games. Mm. Why are these people wearing matching suits? They got the red oni, the blue oni. They're red and blue. <laughs> Ag yourself, are you a red oni or a blue oni? Uh, blue is the blue smart on. one. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm a blue. blue on. Dante and Virgil. Which excited? Which title am I excited to see go mobile? Oh, none. None. Red Squad. Hey, baby. Chinese food and skateboarding. They got me sold. And arcade machines. I'm sold. Wait, that's a final fight. That's final fight, I'm pretty sure. It's blurry, but I'm pretty sure that's final fight. I hope it's not their final fight. No, but the, the cap itself doesn't look like a final fight cap. The logo looks like a final fight logo. Wait, did you see that? Did you see what the license plate said? No. Crazy Taxi. Oh. This is not... Uh, th that's a red herring. Red herring. Oh no, no fucking way. Oh, Shinobi! Oh, Jet Set Radio. It's the new Jet Set Radio. Hell this yeah. Week. I was thinking, oh. Oh, week, come on, oh, wait, Jet what? Set Radio. Wait a minute, what? That Streets of Rage fought? <laughs> wait, a new Shinobi? There's no way. Oh my god. Dude, dude Sega's popping off. Sega wins. What oh, the shit, heck? Sega's... A new Golden Axe! New Golden Axe! I thought that was Lost Vikings. No, Lost Vikings is Blizzard. No oh, crazy yeah. taxi? Dude, Sega is popping off! Whoa! My ass, Sega is popping off! What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Streets of Rage 5. I mean, I, I guess they looked at... Wasn't there basically just another Jet Set Radio that got released this year that is, you know, it was, like, it's not by Jet the same, Set Radio? It's by, the same, it's by the same people, but, like, a Jet Set Radio 3 got leaked earlier this year. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, one was... I, I gotta tweet it out. Tenkai, it's Tenkaichi 4 or the rollback? It's Tenkaichi 4. Tenkaichi oh, yeah. 4.
Dude, I, I gotta tweet this out. Dude, I'm so glad I'm a Sega fan. Especially classic Sega. If they came out with a new like hang on or new new outrun, I would have gone insane. I would have like gone insane. That was a golden that was yes, that was a new golden axe. Also, hi Ash, hi, sorry for not properly greeting you. I was I was getting excited. Damn it. Oh, okay, you know what? What the fuck is this? This is a fucking Tenkaichi 4? What the fuck was that? Um, Dead by Daylight. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dead by Daylight. No, they make other stuff too. Um, but uh, this is just a Dead by Daylight game. Dude, no Virtual Fighter, but I'm I'm multiple like they made up for it with multiple IPs I care about. I'm not I'm not the biggest Crazy Taxi fan, but Shinobi. I, I went through most of the Shinobi games this year. I only did not I did not do Shinobi PS2 or Kuno, Kunoichi PS2 or the 3DS game. Looks like I will have to do those now. And then I'm gonna play this game. The new Shinobi. And new Golden Axe. I was not expecting that. I mean I, I think wanna, everyone pretty safely. Oh wait, wrote wait, wait. Yeah, I mean yeah, I was I was talking over it. Okay. It's a hot take, but I never liked playing the Tenkaichi games. I get why people love them, but the actual controls, yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I don't like them either. But I like them for the meme. It's like Mugen. It's, the, it's, it's pretty much Mugen for DBZ fans. Oh dang! Are they actually trying to like build a world out of Dead by Daylight now? It's stupid. It's really popular. It's yeah. Like stupid popular, so it makes sense. Hey Ash, thank you for the subs. You're only here for a little bit. All right, Ash. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I hope your day is good. Thanks. I hope you're feeling okay. Cinematic horror experience. Oh no. Oh, d according to Alicia, this is the people that did the, the Silent Hill like thing that they're doing right now. That's really terrible. So it's bad. It's probably gonna be bad. Damn, dude. New Shinobi. New Streets of Streets of Rage Five. New Streets of Rage Four was really, really good. I'm a little disappointed that it's not a 2D game. It's not 2D art style. But like, I understand why that might be a little hard. That's that's crazy, dude. I was not expecting to get like an announcement, like like an announcement, like being said that well. Mm. No Virtua Fighter, but they're like, here's here's a new Streets of Rage because we know you like Streets of Rage, Yaru. Here's a new here's a new Shinobi because you know you I we know you know Shinobi's underrated despite being a, a, a bullshit ass franchise. And here's a new Golden Axe. And you know, on top of that, Jet Set Radio. Is this Dragon Quest? This looks like Dragon Quest. And no, 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 it's not. It's a nah, little bit that art style it's, can't be. It's not Toriyama. Oh no, this is Madra. That, that, that's Seiken Densetsu. This is Seiken Densetsu. This is Seiken Densetsu. This is Seiken Densetsu. Legend of Mana. Trials of Mana. Um, Guys, um, I, I think this might be Seiken Densetsu. What the fuck? And yeah, it was like Beast Rider or something. I know what you're talking about, Johnny Baghead. This is this is a new legend. This is this is a new mana game. I need to play through Legend of Mana. Yeah, brand new mana. Let's go. I played the old ones. I played one through three. I played Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, and uh, Trials of Mana. And um, and uh, I played a little bit of Legend of Mana uh, when, when I was younger. Visions of Mana. I guess the Legend of Mana HD did well, and same with the Trials of Mana remake. That's that's dope. That's dope. Yo, wait, 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 wait. If it's not co-op, bring back the co-op. You guys, I don't know why you guys stopped doing ma co-op mana games. Bring it back, bring back the co-op. Koei Tecmo. Koei Tecmo, Koei Tecmo, Koei Tecmo. About where I like Yeah, that's... <laughs> what is this? Is this... Oh, this is that game, Rise of Ronin? No, no, um, they announced another Samurai IP, uh, Darren, a while ago called, it's like Rise of Ronin, I think. I think this is that. Nihao 3. <laughs> okay. 
Horses, Carmine going crazy. Grappling hook and glider, Carmine going crazy. Carmine video game right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I know what he likes. Okay, guns, he doesn't like it anymore. Man, Blue Eye Samurai was such a good show. Oh damn, okay, multiple characters that you can switch between, that's cool. I'm about this. I don't know if I would get this, but like if someone got it for me, I would play it. Hint, you know hint, what hint, it is? Yeah, it's like, what if Neo is more like Sekiro? That's what they're doing here. But we need to make a new IP. And we, you know, we're still Team Ninja. We're still, um, we still gotta make it like hella action-y, so it's more action-y than... You know what, fuck it, I will get this actually. I love samurai stuff. If they tell me this is a co-op game, I'm on, I'm on board. Co-op samurai game, cause and no one will play it with me, because no one appreciates samurai stuff as much as me. I had a crump with you, sweetie. <laughs> March 20. Okay, hold on. That's a little too soon. That's a little too soon. Too many video games are coming out here. I don't know what Armored Core is doing in action game. I have no idea. It's an action game, but also Armored Core took God away. Yeah, they were just like, we gotta, we gotta give Armored Core Six something. We gotta give Armored Core Six something. I don't make two. Ooh, this is hard. This is actually really oh, hard. Uh, this not is like not really. I buy Rush for sure. That was the one I would say the least. Really? Because Hi-Fi Rush is pretty and has like a lot of like like love and care put into it, but like at the very least that one has to be that one has to be the winner for best sound design. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But like it's it's not doing anything super interesting or like trying to tell like I, I don't know how to sound how to describe it without sounding super pretentious. I mean, it's your That's channel. Cool. It, I end mine too, I guess, but... Ever Crisis. Ever Crisis gave, gave us a bunch of... Uh, Ever Crisis gave a bunch of cute outfits for Cloud. Ever Crisis. Fuck off, Hawkeye Star Rail! Fuck off, I only know one character from your game! Bro, yeah, yeah, no, you don't have any more big ones. The biggest one was a new Golden Axe, a new Streets of Rage, and a new Shinobi. Yo, they made a new Toronto? Oh, yeah, they made new Toronto video game. Demo. New Toronto <laughs> just <laughs> dropped. This is the video game. You play as this indie developer living in Toronto. You gotta. Uh, what, what the fuck was that tool that you just showed me? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna question. Oh, this guy made Venba. Okay. Oh. That looks like a really charming game. Yeah, I had some mild in it. Fallout New Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> God. I mean, honestly, I would enjoy Fallout so much more if it was about literally any place other than a place in the U.S. I really, dude, Liza P would probably be my game up there, it, up there with Baldur's Gate, because I just watched the Joseph Anderson video about it, and I've seen so many people play it. It looks so good. I just didn't pick it up because it's just like, eh, you know, it's a Souls game, not for the Souls people. Not, you know, too many video games coming out right now. Armor, you're, you're, you're coming out too close to Armored Core 6 and Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, what is this? Oh, this is... This is um, uh, uh, D by D, isn't it? The same. No, it doesn't look like D by D. What yeah, I, I don't see any hooks. Outlast Trials, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is this is the new an Outlast game. Okay. Maybe. I don't know who any of these content creators are.
Yeah, this is definitely the outlast. That guy's cool. I like that skeleton guy. I like Big the head in barrel guy. That's fun. I feel like the Outlast series might have drifted a little bit from its initial concept. I mean, it, it's the fate of any indie horror franchise that gets huge with YouTubers. It's the, it's the fate. Yeah, I guess. Like, there's no escaping it. It's just gonna get turned into generic horror cartridge because it makes so much money. Mm. And and it, it, it's the same. It's the same with horror movies. Cheap to make, gets popular really fast. So they're like pump out a bunch of really stupid ones. Vape. Vape. Oh. Oh my. Oh, oh it's anti-vape. Remember, kids, real oh, winners love... don't do drugs. <laughs> Vapesella, I need your strongest vapes. <laughs> you my can't vapes handle strong my you. strongest vapes. My strongest vapes would give a dragon popcorn lung, much less a man. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody be quiet. Let him cook. Let him cook. Ad break, god damn it. This is fun watching completely silent. The hungry is this purple too? I'm talking because we're in an ad break. Once the ad breaks over, once the ad breaks over, we're going back. This is his Xbox game. This isn't Death Stranding 2. Oh, this isn't an actual person. That's, that's I uh, will CG. be right back. Hold up. All right, I will be right back for all of y'all too. Uh, I need to go help my partner bring up the groceries. What? So uh, yeah, be back soon. OD! That's OD! OD's nuts. <laughs> yeah, this was the game, because I know he was making an Xbox horror game. They announced that a while ago. It's Xbox exclusive, so I'm not gonna play it. No, it's gonna go on Game Pass, so I am gonna play it. Oh shit. Oh, Demon's gonna come out. There he is! There he is! Oh, these nuts. Yeah. Eris was right. Eris said this when they had like the first Death Stranding Definitive Edition trailer. He said that Kojima can put a like like nonsense and bullshit on screen, and because it has Kojima's name attached to it, everyone will watch it and be engaged with it. They'll be paying, like, he has people by the balls. They show his name and he can show anything. He can show, like, 30 minutes of a, of a can of mayo, of a jar of mayo, and people will be engaged watching all 30 minutes of that jar of mayo. Just because it had Hideo Kojima's name. The drive in parasocial, because you see Hideo Kojima's name, you know it's gonna be some shit. Even if you don't like Hideo Kojima's game, you know something it's gonna be crazy. Like, like if you see his trailer start and it just says the first words it shows on your on the screen sis is from the mind of David Lynch. No matter what they show next after that, you're gonna no matter what they show, you will be paying attention to it. You will be paying <laughs> Translate, he's saying, Jeff Keighley, we did it. Only a few more years and your master plan has worked out. 
You will be- you will- you will delete Dorito Pope from the internet. You will be considered a god among the video gamers. Oh, another strand type game. Hey, Red Nova. No way. No way. No way. Fay? Fay? B? Fay? 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 I'm not even- I, I mean, I know you're here. But I'm not even a huge Jordan Peele fan, but I think this is a cool collab. Like, this is- this is good. The new Kojima game is being made with Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele and Kojima are working together to make the new game, Faye. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, damn, this is cool. This is cool. I would also love it if they just announced that, like, that one, the, the saw bit, the saw skit from, uh, from P and Peele, they're just gonna turn that into a video game. <laughs> they're like, nah, we're just doing that, dude. Or no, they're doing they're doing the, the Shakespeare bit. Like, yeah, we're announcing that we're doing the Shakespeare bit, but as a video game. Man, these white truffle chips are so good. These Japanese white truffle chips, they go hard. Only one dollar, dude. One dollar thirty-five. Dick Nanigan? What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Right it took me a minute. Yeah, I thought you just read it. <laughs> no, dude, they're gonna do the steampunk bit. They're like, in this game, you play the steampunk guy from Key and Peel. We do the steampunk guy. You ain't heard? I'm Hideo Kojima now. That, no, that that's um that that's one of the Baldur's Gate three guys. He's like one, of, he's like like the lead for Baldur's Gate three. There's a sign on the teleprompter saying, "Please wrap it up." Yeah, they're not gonna. They have music to show to wrap it up, but they're not gonna play the music over Jeff Kelly and, and the, you know over the big people in charge. They would not wrap it up to Jordan Peele and then the two people in charge of the Game Awards, but they got it. Yeah, yeah, Jordan, yeah, yeah, Jeff Keighley is like, it's my show, how dare you, how dare you, it, wait, what the f was that? Wait a minute, was that Billie Eilish? What's Billie Eilish doing here? You ain't playing no fucking, you, you ain't in no video game. Probably not good ones. But if she come out, if, if she, if she tweets, 
that the best game announced is the new Shinobi, then my opinion will change. What is this? Jurassic right, Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. You didn't recognize all the music? Yeah, 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 sorry. I, 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 was, I had the volume turned down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, na, 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 da, na, na. Dude, stop making these Jurassic Park sim games. We need more platformers. Come on, dude, all these callbacks. I mean, it's nice, I guess, but you could do something like, like... It's not done in any in an interesting way. It's just a, remember this part from Jurassic Park? A point-and-click adventure Jurassic Park game would be cool. They've done a couple of those a long time ago, but if they do a new one, I would like that. But I would prefer- I want them to make another Jurassic Park platformer, because those games- they were some good platformers for Jurassic Park. Like the Jurassic Park right? there, 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 there's multiple. Okay. That's a whole series. That's the, that's the only Jurassic Park games they've been making for a while. Oh. Yeah, they have, um, um, they have, um, Jeff Goldblum as one of the, uh, uh the announcer. Oh, come on, dude! You can't do this many member berries in a trailer. Whatever. I mean, it's better than doing something stupid. I just you could do worse. Like, game, oh, yeah, one like that. Yeah, like individual control of people. And then a T-Rex gets out and it's just like, ah, shit. Okay, if they tell me that this is like a... Oh, no, come on. <laughs> Come on. Jurassic Park survival? This better not be like an instance based, procedurally generated, like, like, extraction game. Zed? I don't care what's Zed. What, what the fuck is Zed doing here? What the, what's Zed doing here? He's just like. He's like, hey, I know all you guys made a million AMVs using Stay the Night or Clarity. You use all of your gamer remixes, use Clarity, so I'm here. To tell you all, fuck you. I'm. <laughs> but um, okay. If they if if that was like a, a first person like Uncharted style game, then that would be kind of cool. But with the name Survival, it makes me think it's like a, an extraction type game or a game like Rust. You know, I don't want it to be like Rust. If, if it's like first person um, um Uncharted, that'd be okay. You're hyped for the Jurassic Park game? I mean, I need to see more. I need to see more. Because I do like Jurassic Park. I think it's like one of the best movies of all time. It's, like, it, it's probably somewhere in the top 25. I don't even know what this award is. What is, what is this award? Best audio design. Oh, best audio? Didn't you say you wanted Hi-Fi Rush team? Oh, hey, B, 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 you called it. B. Oh, she's a AFK. Okay, okay. I like that. This game looks cool. It looks good. It's one of the ones that didn't play. But they kind of shot themselves in the foot by making it on Game Pass. Even though, like, that's the way a lot of people played it. But, um... It's not the first award. We, we're, we're, like, an hour and a half into the event. Like, Onason install? Uh, I don't want to get the Onason model. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's been a minute. It's, it's not going to cost me anything. It's been a minute since I used this model. It's been a minute. I like this model too. This model is really cute. There we go. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Johnny Backhead. 
B, are you back? Kissy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta redeem that, sis. Hey, Erisher, thank you for the- thank you for the sub. There's a four-hour wait room for the Steam Deck thing? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the sub, Erisher. Hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, now it's two hours, but still. <laughs> Is that Gwen? Is that- oh, no. Okay. Uh, it's Fortnite. Fortnite racing. Dude, you guys, just make other video games. No, you, you need brand games? recognition. No, no, you can. Just call it Fortnite racing. You don't need to have a racing mini game in Fortnite. Just make it Fortnite racing. Separate game. Nah. It's a platform now for Zoomers to have a bunch of crazy stuff. So I saw that the, there's an Eminem concert in Fortnite, and it shows your party going ham to it, and you could have your party be like, Beyond Goku, <laughs> Mr. Peace. <laughs> that tweet made me laugh pretty hard. And the number one reply to that tweet was, Leon's white ass would be there. Yeah, cause you can do so much shit in Fortnite. There's Fortnite Among Us. There's Fortnite. They had Lego Fortnite. They had like a billion. There's like a billion things in Fortnite now. <laughs> Fortnite is becoming like the cultural hotspot for all like the popular media. What is this? The Rocket Racing is made by the Rocket League devs? Why isn't it just its own freaking game? It's not exactly- the, the driving in Fortnite is not exactly great. B? B, can you hear us? We can't hear you, B, by the way, if you're, uh... Oh, wait, no, she, her, her thing is that you can move in. Oh, dude, this is a me game, me game. Ancient Chinese- ancient Chinese stuff? Me game. Wait a minute. Wait, this better not be by the game by the racist guy. Oh no, no. If this is the game by the racist guy, we got problems. Hey, KBX. Yeah, yes, it's me. It's me. They redeemed my other model. They redeemed my Onesan model. So I am now a. Uh, I I am now. I, I wouldn't even know what to describe this. Is Journey to the West like the only thing that people know how to adapt? No, there's another one too. That's adapted a lot. It's the one that they adapted into Secret in. This model's cute, yeah, this model's cute. I will just I I will just say that this is a uh uh I gotta think of the lore for it. I can I can say this model's male. This is a male model. I can I can just say that, you know? <laughs> Very, very, very normal masculine model right here. This is the game by the racist guy, isn't it? Who, who, who's the racist guy? So th uh, th there's like a Chinese Souls like that's about Wu Kong. Oh no, this might not be it because this doesn't look like a Souls like. There's a Chinese Souls like about Wu Kong, and then the dev just said some like like he's. Not only is he like a Chinese nationalist, not like Hong Kong, but mainly in China, he just says like, you know, hyper racist stuff. Oh. Uh... But this isn't, this isn't, that one was a Souls like. This doesn't look like a Souls like. Nope, it is. It is. Oh, nope, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is by the racist guy. No, I remember the name was like, I thought it was like, like, Black, uh, like, um, it was like Black Desert? Something like that? Like, this is Black Nifty Kong. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it's by the racist guy. I don't know the specifics of what he said, Yay, but I just know he said some crazy game. shit. Boo! I don't Yay. care. No, boo! It's cool! Yay! This is the last Kevin Conroy game, and it's some Yay. stupid ass shit! It's some stupid ass- it looks like it's- 
It looks like it's gonna be a worse version of Gotham Knight. Yippee! Oh, nope, nope, I have to mute. I have to mute. You're playing. It's playing the gorillas, gorilla. though! I have to mute, though. This, that is 100% DLC. I, I don't understand what the Suicide Squad can do against the Flash or Superman here. It's because they're all mind controlled, so they don't have their full powers. Why would they send the Suicide Squad to take on these guys instead of, like... Because the Suicide Squad movies are very popular. <laughs> the newest one is. I don't know about the first the one. The newest first one, one is. is. The first one is popular through irony. Okay, are they still playing Gorillas? Yes. Yep, okay, yep. I... I no. Don't care. And I Welcome am back, back. We, yeah, they, you, we were trying to talk to you. You called it. They they had best audio and it was the Hi-Fi Rush. Hmm? You called it. I called it for best audio? Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush won. Hell yeah. They deserve it. Um, we have lesbians on screen. Oh, I love the gloves on the lady in the red. Yeah, we have lesbians on screen right now. Also, for those of you playing at home, tonight's dinner is a pork ramen with... Spinach, chives, scallion, uh, spinach, onion, scallions, mushroom, ajitama egg, and bacon. Sounds good. I think I might make some uh, noodles myself. Now kiss. Now kiss. Now kiss. What is this? Oh, is this Warframe? Yeah, it looks like it. That looks like uh, Warhammer, too. Oh. It's Warframe. Yeah, it's Warframe. I don't care. I mean, I, I, I could never get into Warframe. It's, I'm sure it's a cool series, but I just couldn't get into it. Like, I didn't even really give it an honest chance, also, so... But it just seems like an, another one of those endless grind games, like, grinding for the sake of grinding, and I can't... I, I can't play those games. Not for me. Like, the suits and designs are really cool, but yeah... No, the, the coolest one is the new one they did. I know they announced like a Warframe 1989 or Warframe 1990, I think. And the main guy, his suit, he is like Jetstream Sam's suit. He looks like Jetstream Sam. They ripped off Jetstream Sam. That's cool. But like, you know, Jetstream Sam is a cool design. I forgot what I was gonna say. How do I delete a chat message on Twitch? <laughs> I had a big McDonald's. Oh, there he is, Jesse Sam. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, that's the one. He's cool, like, that's a cool design. This dude looks like. This guy looks like Junpei from Persona 3 grown up. The guy in the hat. Damn, is he, uh, is he voiced by, uh, Big Dog, whatever his name is? Yeah. You know what'd be funny? Um, I just got reminded, so Eris was watching like a Game Awards kind of thing like a few years ago and there was like two French guys talking about their game and Eris just randomly said, wouldn't it be sick if these two just kissed right now? Ooh. <laughs> like on stream. I mean. <laughs> that would be so funny. That's correct, though it would be pretty sick. <laughs> like it's just two guys, they have two Oh wait, I've been, I've been to the good version of this place. I went to the good version. I went to the good version. The okay. Yeah, yeah, the one that it's in Osaka. And how was it? It was. I, I had a great time. Bimo didn't like the Mario Kart ride, they, but Bimo really liked the Yoshi ride, even though it had the weird inflation Yoshi. But um, the, the, the Yoshi ride isn't at the American one. It's only in Japanese. One. There's so much that are only. In no fair. I mean, the Yoshi you know, one's so cute. Is that does that include the inflation Yoshi? Shut up, he's cute. The inflation he's the, Yoshi he's, is cute. He's the roundest boy. I mean to be fair. I, 
Yoshi has always had, like, TF fetishes from day one. Okay, but, okay, like, Inflation Yoshi was one thing. Did they really need another Yoshi sucking on their ass? Did they I'm really sorry? That? That, yes, that is a- I will put it on stream. I will put it on stream. That is a thing that happened. That I witnessed. No. No, this was a, a thing I saw in Japan and I was confused. Um, where is What is this? What is this? Incarnate? This is, this looks like, it looks dumb, but it looks familiar. <laughs> it's raining men! <laughs> What? You like the eggs? Don't make fun of him. Yeah. I'm not making fun of him. Oh god, that's huge. I'm sorry, you guys. What is this? It looks cool. Eh, doesn't look like my thing. Okay, this is the inflation Yoshi. God. What? Why? Was this oh. necessary? Oh, okay. Hmm. That, um. Hmm. I can't you say I'm a. Alone. I can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> this is only at the Japanese one. Hey, welcome back, Ash! You came back at a great time! But, yeah. Yeah, the, no, someone, someone made this. Someone made it. Yeah, I know who, who I know who thinks that's hot, Johnny Baghead. The guy that made this by hand. The guy that made this prop by hand. Well, surely they didn't make it by hand. With machine or whatever, however how they made it. I don't know what this is. Uh, what... my gut is saying something with control, maybe. Nope. Just new IP. Hmm. By, I don't know who the studio is. <clears throat> oh yeah, we, dude, we're, we only got an hour, we got an hour and a half more of show. That's the real Yoshi. That's the real Yoshi. Oh no. <laughs> Y'all, this. Uh... Nick, best best mobile game. Nikki got us the victory. Next question. Other than uh, question. being a little You're gonna go get ramen? and not have salty right. enough. Bye, you're sure. I think this I'm ramen. The same I thing think you have a good one. Really, I hope your ramen. I really do. I'm proud of it. Thing. Oh, this. I like how this lady's dressed. Thank you. Cute. Nice hair too. Yeah, you kind of have a sh thing for short hair, don't you? Uh. Um... Not particularly, but I do like it. Oh, you know what? I like this hair. It's Meryl Silverberg. It's Meryl Silverberg's hair. Hello, Meryl. How are you doing, French Meryl? How are you know. doing, French Meryl? I, I don't know. See, here's the thing. I can't recognize Meryl until she turns around. That's the problem. <laughs> That's true. They should. There's one thing. The So the Meryl in Police Knots is the same character as the Meryl from... Uh, from Metal Gear Solid. They just, hmm. like, transplant them. They, same backstory, same personality, everything. The only thing that wasn't transferred over is that the Maryland Police Knots, her specialty is shooting people in the dick. Hmm. And I'm, I'm not making that up. Like, like her, her cutscene, her, her special shooting range cutscene, she shoots people in the dick really well with 100% accuracy. I mean, good for her. And she did that to intimidate the main character to, like, don't be a chauvinist around her, you know? Game searching back, huh? Okay, I would be okay 
if Genshin Impact won this award, award because it'd be very funny. Games, games for Impact winner, oh. Genshin Impact. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can't deny that one. Second Impact was it nominated? That's true. That's true. Hey, wait, what the hell? Hey, Yoshida, you made this game. You're looking good for your age too. He's kind of a gilf. I wouldn't say a gilf, but I'm just saying he's looking I would, I have low standards for elderly. <laughs> okay. I'm digging your vibe. I'm digging your vibe, whoever this is. Oh! I like his cape. Astrid Origin, bro. I, I dig his vibe. I, I'm a big fan of his look. Damn, that dude, he's reminding that the Game Awards has been around for a while. It used to air on Spike TV. Yo, Reggie! Reggie! Hey! Reggie! That's Random a Reggie guy Star. I recognize! Oh, yo. Oh, yo, Golden Sun? Dude, dude, base. This guy's just out here like, yo, I'm here to announce a new Golden Sun without Nintendo's permission! Golden Sun is coming back with our sense of home! <laughs> that would be wild. Man, I remember, I think it was the first Game Awards in 2010 or 2009, the one that was on Spike TV. They had the um, Loiter Squad, you know, the uh, um, 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 Tyler the, the Creator Squad. And they had them outside of the crowd and they asked and they gave them the mic. And then it wasn't time to announce game of the game of the year. And then they just went to the crowd and they just said, "Game of the year." They pointed at the cameras. By the way, game of the year, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. And they went to the crowd going, "Mario and Sonic!" And everybody went crazy. <laughs> Who loves Mario and Sonic? <laughs> the, I, I I never forgot that. They were never invited back. They were never invited back. It's, it's um Zelda Red Nova because we saw Ag Aonuma in the crowd. They would not invite Ag Aonuma. They would not pay for him to fly out if if he didn't win. You know, because he's all the way in Japan and he's an old dude. They would not have flown him all the way out. See, this this looks like it would be cool. This looks like it would be cool if it wasn't EA. If mm. I didn't see EA. And Wait a minute, this, this looks exactly like the Ubisoft um, Prince of Persia game. The new one that's coming out. This looks exactly like it. Critical Role? What do you mean by Critical Role? What are you talking about? What, what, what's Critical Role got to do with this? Wait, what? No, they're doing a Mighty Nine series because the first two seasons of the Critical Role show on Amazon did well. They bought the rights to do Mighty Nine next, but I don't think Mighty Nine is going to be animated. See, it looks cool, but like I see EA, and I'm like, I can't get hyped for that. Like, mm -hmm. I know it's just going to be some nonsense. Don't nod. Um, that that name is familiar. No, no, Mighty Nine from the creators of Life is Strange don't care. <laughs> really don't care. This is, you know, I'm not the target demographic. I am not that Fleur is though. Fleur is. Fleur, you're close to it. You're a zoomer? Yeah, yeah, Fleur's a zoomer. Very so, very young lesbians. From what I understand, young Life is Strange's core demographic is a uh, non majority uh Tumblr users of Gen Z. 
Yeah, the, it, it's Gen Z lesbians. That's the core demographic yeah. of Life is Strange. And, like, you know, that's fine. I'm not the target demographic. So. I was not, I was not uh, old enough to get to the first one, but I don't know. Maybe it gets good after that. But, um... The first one suffers heavily from French people, Fre old French people trying to like American teenagers. Mm. Yeah. But um, um, uh, what you were saying, Red Nova. So Mighty Nine is the second Critical Role campaign. The first one is the Legend of Vox Machina. The second one is Mighty Nine. I hate that I know that. I hate that I know that because I'm not a Critical fan of Role it. I think Critical Role is a little cringe. But like it's, I, I still watch the animes because it's endearing and it's cool to see like someone's D and D campaign turn into like a, a, a media for other people to watch. I think that aspect is cool. Oh oh oh, Colt, Lone Star Colt, Lone Star Colt, Lone Star Colt. I'm I'm, I'm literally messaging him right now. It's new Dungeon Fighter. They showed it off earlier. This is a new. This is a new Dungeon Fighter game. Yeah, it's. It looks like it's a new game in the Dungeon Fighter universe, which is you know cool. I like. I like DFO. I like Dungeon Fighter. Okay, Colt. Colt just messaged me. Say I told him about it, and he just said, "Don't worry, I'm already screaming." <laughs> I can tolerate the spirits within more than Life is Strange too, cause like, yeah, Life is Strange is kind of, <laughs> is kind of crap. <laughs> but you know, some people like it, and it's not. I'm not the target demographic. I can, I, I can, it's, I can say it's not for me. I can say it's not for me. The first Berserker, Kazan, in the Dungeon Fighter universe. The first, so Berserker is one of the classes in Dungeon Fighter. Okay. Please don't be like the the the, the one from, from remake was not very good. It was kind of a cringe song. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is the vibe I wanted. Oh <gasps> Cloud! Ow, what are you doing here? Ninja Cloud! New costumes! See, this is what I like, this is what I like to all the new Final Fantasy VII stuff. Just cute outfits. And the characters being cute. I had that Bing AI thing. That, don't, don't say aw, that's not the ship. The ship, it's Tifa and Cloud. Aerith, Aerith has a boyfriend. Okay, my headcanon is they're polyamorous. Yeah, that, that works. I was actually just saying aw on space. Aw, yeah. Yep, there it is, there it is. And I, Zach's alive again because... N Nomura Hell yeah. and everybody, everybody in FF7 team, they just love dick riding Zack. I, I mean, I guess, why not, dude? He's like, he's like the Vegeta of Final Fantasy, I guess. Look, all I, all I know is he looks at me and he says those two magic words. Me, Gaga. Oh, my, my underwear <laughs> is already off. Yeah, Zack is alive. They create, there's two, at the end of Remake, they create two universes. Like an alternate timeline, Zach lives and um, Big lives for some random reason. I and they they've implied that there's multiverse shit happening in um in in Rebirth because remake is not our true remake; it's supposed to rebuild, like rebuild the Avon Galaxy, like the new Scott Pilgrim. The new Scott Pilgrim is rebuild the Scott Pilgrim, not a Scott Pro a new adaptation. Show them kissing. Yeah, it's like a. It, I wouldn't even call it a redo, Darren. I wouldn't call because it it it's a it's a sequel technically, you know. 
It's like a sequel disguising itself as a reboot. I'm just here to see new cute outfits. You need to play a remake? That's crazy. You could probably get the same experience just watching the cutscenes on YouTube. Because as a game to play, it's not the best. It has a lot of sections that drag their ass. There's, there's a lot of sections that are good in Remake, now that, like, plenty of time has passed, but I can say this without, like, sounding super biased. There are a lot of sections, like, half of the game drags its ass, but the other half is good. The only Kazushige, or, or I, I'm forgetting his name, the actual guy that directed FF7, he worked on only one part of Remake, like, directly worked on it, and that was the opening bombing mission, and that is, like, one of the best parts of the game. Mm -hmm. And it shows. I, that was that was cool. I like that. I like that. That was that was a good song. It reminded me of Eyes on Me, and I thought Scottish girl. Jelly tons form when unlucky pond deads fall into swamp water and can't this? get out. Over time, their bodies break down and reform as beings mostly comprised the Excuse of the me? smooth, toxic slime. Supposedly, a slime, oh, slime mix for great fertilizer. Carmine is furious. <laughs> Carmine, dude, he's furious now. He's furious. Oh my he's god. Furious. That's the more artwork. That's the more Let's artwork. Let's go. Uh, dude. <laughs> what, I like. I like. It. Dude, look at the smile, the shit eating grin Jeff Killian, because he prefaced that. This is for Final Fantasy fans. This is for the <laughs> Final Fantasy fans. <laughs> he, it's for the knew. real ones. He knew. He was he was hyping them up, and then they then, then immediately destroying their wishes. Okay, best score. Ooh, that's hard. That's mm. hard. That's hard. I mean, it's uh, between sixteen and tears. I, I gotta go for high fi rush again. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. I'm 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 okay with that. <laughs> I can't, haven't listened game? to it, so I don't wanna... it's it it evokes. It's the best soundtrack Final Fantasy has had in a long time. Since like eleven, I would say. Baldur's Gate three. Baldur's Gate three. Holy shit! It has to be Baldur's Gate three. Baldur's Gate 3. You're insane if you don't say Baldur's Gate 3. Has to be. Of course. Let's go! Baldur's Gate These are the devs, because they, they patched the game and had new cutscenes within, like, a week for, like, very hyper-specific situations that, like, maybe, like, two people. Mortal Kombat 1 or Street Fighter 6. It's gonna be one of those. Probably Street Fighter 6. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. Of course. If the Star Wars game wins, they paid for it. If the Star Wait. Wars games win, they paid for it. This this is absurd. Why is this a category? It's been one every year. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I would hope Hades too, but... Eh. I mean, that game is still far off. Yeah, you know, it's, it's true. It's gonna be something close. Like, I was hoping for Tekken 8, but, like, 7 Rebirth, you know? More more models to have, like, like 7 Rebirth means more gay sex for Cloud. 7 Rebirth means more models of Cloud, like, more, more dress-up opportunities for Cloud. Okay, Genshin Impact, don't care. Don't care. Okay, so, is, is this a new girl or not? If this is a new girl, we're gonna see porn of her by the end of the stream. I don't. Do not care about no game shit. But in the meantime, you know what I will show you instead? I will show you what I want from Seven Rebirth in 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 PS5 graphics. This is the ending. This is the scene I want from Seven Rebirth, and I will show it you on. I, I will. Show, this is Bay. Yes. Um. May I draw draw your attention to the stream here? This is this is what I want from Seven Rebirth right here. Okay. This is um I think I think this is a reasonable request. God, please. Is this is this not a reasonable request here? I think it's more than reasonable. Hey. Like the yeah. Boy, oh, I sure I sure wish somebody actually drew this. Yeah, I know, but like it's it's CG, okay? It's not it's not artwork. It's trying to recreate the FF7 um whatever. I'm using it for gay shit. 
God, yeah. I mean, I've already seen- I've seen Cloud do pretty much fucking everything <laughs> in- in terms of artwork. Also this, this is also- I have- I'm- I'm spoiling the- the ending for the FF7, uh, Rebirth right here. Here's the ending for FF7 Rebirth. This is- this is the ending for FF7 Rebirth. Right here. Eat? <laughs> Look, I knew someone was gonna say something about the feet. I knew someone was gonna feet. say something about it. Look at the size of that toe. What? Did he get a bee sting on his foot? What the fuck? Have you not? Have you not seen Cloud shoes? His big ass clown shoes. Yeah, but that's like Sora. Yo, Zenogre, let's go. It's a Monster Hunter gotcha game. It doesn't count. But, I know, but still. The worst ending. Oh, more Lego Fortnite. Oh, cool. More more licensed music. More licensed music. Uh, the dog is attacking. Oh, the dog is God. Yeah, more licensed music. Thanks. Thanks, Fortnite. Okay, I got- I think I got another one in here for you. Another one. Hey Faye, what, how how would you feel like if this was a scene in uh, in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? How would you feel about this scene? Mm. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it, it legitimately Aww. looks like it legitimately looks like it could be AI going crazy. Modern Warfare Three. Hey, hey, no, Cloud could still identify as a guy. He, could, he just likes wearing dresses. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. We we know Tifa is the one that wears the pants. The SSB Modern Warfare 3 people getting mad about SBMM. Dude, I don't understand that at all. I really don't, but it's so funny to me that it's Call of Duty players. Garu in a dress? I mean, I, there's art of me in a dress. You can see Come. me in a dress if you want. There's plenty of pictures of me in a dress. I need more in the back. Oh, um, okay, this is for Mojave. Mojave was hype about this. They were like, you know, people really like Ask Creed 4. People really like the pirate and boat stuff from Ask Creed 4. What if we just made it its own game? What if we just made it its own game? It's not One Piece, so I don't care. What if, what if they announced and collab crossover Netflix One Piece? No. <laughs> You, Is that a Huacha? Because this is like a- it's a semi-realistic style, you know? So you can't have the normal One Piece characters because they're gonna look weird, but you could have like the Netflix One Piece characters in this. No, I want- I want the actual One Piece characters that are all like huge and disproportionate. Mm. <laughs> Why did this game take 10 years to make? Dude, Ubisoft, dude. You, you, they're always fucking up. I want some. I want a twenty-foot white beard on the ship. <laughs> uh, you want to know who my favorite One Piece character is? Who is that, it? It's Cringe Beard. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Who the fuck is Cringe Beard? <laughs> you don't know Cringe Beard? Cringe Beard and his and his arch nemesis, Based Beard. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bethesda. Bethesda? Damn, Todd Howard, where are you? Some, oh, it's not, it's not that. It's Arcane. It's Arcane from Bethesda. These, these, these guys make, um, Dishonored and, uh, Death Loop. I like how some people just say Death Loop is a bad game. I, I, it doesn't look like a bad game, but they say it's a bad game because Death Loop, Death Poop. They just say Death Poop and like, oh, game sucks. <laughs> Twitch chat is funny as fuck. <laughs> Twitch chat's funny as fuck sometimes. Death loop more Info like Info wears the strap. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That, that tracks. No, no, Tifa is very, is very, um, uh, shy about it. She, she needs to, like, work her way up into it. Like, Aerith, though. Aerith is all about it. Yo, is this Blade? Blade? Hello? Blade? 
Wesley Snipes? Let's fucking go! Damn, we, we have an announcement to say that got Faye really hyped. Blade. Alright! Hell yeah! I'm Blade. <laughs> I'm Blade. They should, they should have had Todd Howard come on stage just as Blade and all he just says is, I'm Blade now. <laughs> I'm Blade now. Um. Dude, it oh, should- Oh, it's so cool! It should be a character action game. I would play the fuck out of a Blade character action game. Like, it's just like, here, we're here with Platinum Game to make Blade. Apologies for whoever's uh, ears I just bursted. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Your, your audio wasn't turned all the way to the max. Stop stealing your spots, yeah. You would do well to leave before those fiends return. You surely have no reason to remain in such a place as this. All right. Come on, we're battle buddies. At least tell us your name. I, I wonder if they're going to establish us in the same universe as the uh, PlayStation Spider-Man. I am no fighter, it's but this land has be. thrust such a role upon me. I mean, they're doing that with the Wolverine game too, right? I yeah, do not but wish to burden still being made you by the with, same my company. Pro with my ah, troubles. Oh yeah, this isn't Sony. This is this is all platforms. Yeah. <sighs> my brother and I yeah, were both Insomnia cast into the sea. If I have not drowned, perhaps he too came to rest upon these shores. Yeah, that Bayo spin-off came out already, Johnny Baghead, and it's good. It's better than Bayonetta 3. I've been Bayonetta searching for three. some weeks now. But they did. A kind soul gifted me this curious device. I don't know how you fuck up Bayonetta. hear a word of my brother yeah, Sebastian. Yeah, the camp is just east from and, here. And she says some cool Fairly shit. Well. That's all you need. That's all you need. But, you know, for some reason they thought they thought they needed... Dude, Bayo 3 is really bad, honestly. It's, I it's find a, it. It's a really good action game that, and the the game is trying to do everything in its power to make you hate it. You, you, there, there is more kaiju battles that are really slow and unfun and like really dumbass set pieces that, that force you to not use the character action elements. And the story is not good either. The story is just like, they, they're like, here's all these alternate universe bayonettas and they, here they are, they show up and you get to see them get immediately killed and it leads nowhere. It leads nowhere. It's just they, they show up to be jobbers, and they're good designs too. Like I like the Egyptian bayonetta, and they're great designs. But like it's they show up just to get killed immediately. Uh -huh. I don't know why they did that. You know, like if it was if it was if it led somewhere, like like if they had like like if if they all died, and then at the final fight because they bring back the bayonetta from one and two because they do time travel shit mm -hmm. to team up with you. They should bring back all the other bayonettas, so they don't seem like just massive jobbers that exist to waste your time. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but like... <laughs> but like, I haven't seen Twisted Metal yet, I've heard decent things about it. But so, Ash, like, the story, it's boring, but like, Bayonetta 2 doesn't like... It lets you play the game, it doesn't like, okay, here's like, five minutes of hack and slash character action stuff, and now here's... 30 minutes of a really slow ass kaiju battle and you jumping through destroyed buildings hit doing quick time events you know they oh boy crazy because everyone loves quick time events like they go way too crazy with the set pieces bayonet has always been about set pieces but there's more set piece than there is like hack and slash wait twist the metal is actually successful enough for season two <laughs> Oh shit! I mean, it's it's Peacock. Who watches Peacock? It was probably yeah. their most popular show. You know. <laughs> you know. Wasn't the shrinking on Peacock or no? No, that was Apple. Oh. I'm 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 indifferent to her character design in three, but the alternate bayonet. What are you doing, by the way, Sierra? Designs, and they and show everyone up just else to be for that for that matter, huh? Huh? I think right? Mackie wants to be Will Smith so bad. Well, unfortunately, Chris Rock is still in hiding, so he's gonna have to wait on that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, I want Anthony Mackie to talk about to talk about fucking um um fuck who's the name of the Sonic guy? What was the name of the Sonic guy? Ken Penders. I need I need Anthony Mackie to talk about Ken Penders right now. What happened with Ken Penders? 
Ken Penders, so you know Ken Penders, like he he got kicked out of Sonic and he made his own cringe comic series. Oh like, yeah. Like, the catches. Yeah, apparently one of his uh, black echidnas is um, based on Anthony Mackie. Like, I Anthony Mackie's face what? into an echidna. I know, right? And like, it, so it's scary. absurd. It's absurd. It's literally absurd. And I want to know if Anthony Mackie knows about it. It's so funny. Well, now I need to look up this Anthony Mackie echidna. I'm not joking. Google. Please Google Ken Penders Anthony Mackie. Please, you owe it to yourself. Wait, huh? Huh? This is a massive upset. This, this is a massive up over oh, FF14. This is a massive upset. Massive upset. I don't even dislike Cyberpunk 20. What the fuck? But like this that's, over FF14? That's not even. An echidna, that's just a human. And he, and he, it's Anthony Mackie. Ken Penders chased Anthony Mackie. What the Why fuck? Why is he the only human? Let him free. <laughs> I want I want Lewis or Mojave in the audience to be mad at these people. He he played the shit out of Cyberpunk 2077, but he experienced something that happens in real life. Hmm? Where he, they they lead you on with that game about who is gay and who's straight, and uh, you pretty much go on like a whole date with um um what he says is the best boy. I forget his name, but the the dateable male character that's straight, mm -hmm. and he didn't realize that he was straight, especially oh, with no. that, like, his offering that like he's offering, you know, you know, it's pretty much a date. It's a dinner date, and and he found out the character was straight when he went for the kiss. Oh. And then he got like denied, and it was a very awkward scene. And he was like, "What the fuck?" That's what a heartbreaker, fuck? though. Yeah. He was he was upset about it. Any time he talks about that, yes, you want a straight guy, and, and the straight guy's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not gay." You know, despite the fact that he cooks like chili for you and he takes you to his family's barbecue, and it's like, you know, really cute. Yeah, this isn't Steve Martin. Steve Martin's looking a little different. It's really weird and awkward. Hmm. It's it's weird because they don't change the scene. They don't change the dialogue of the scene if you're not trying to take it. You know. So and and Lewis was molded. I thought it was hilarious. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know I got the joke because I think of that Steve Martin first. Yeah, this gotta say this really does not look like a very wild or crazy guy. Robots speeding up Asian people, apparently. Man, those That's robots really hate the Asian people. That's all they wanted to oh, do. no, those are Asian robots, too. Okay. Huh. What? What is this? Some game trying to really hard to be cool. A game appealing to like six, sixteen year olds, maybe. Blade two, yeah, Blade two already. Blade two, I kill robots now. Blade two, where it's uh, a robot lady who only kills Asians. <laughs> 
Maybe it's like Blade Runner? I don't know. The last sent- oh, last sentinel. Hmm. Ooh, nowhere near as good as 13 sentinels. Probably a lot easier to follow the plot, though. Nah, 13 sentinels isn't, isn't hard to follow if you just get a white guy on YouTube to explain it to you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I try not to listen to white guys on YouTube if I can avoid it too much. This is Death Stranding 2. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do we know if this is worth a viewer? Hey, I thought it was Death Stranding 2. Is this Destiny? Yes, I think it is. Because yeah, the yeah. armor looks familiar. Some nice robot designs. Huh. Okay, this is not Destiny. Bayo 4? I was gonna say it looks like Piano 3. Project number 3. Bayonetta 4. I recognize that voice. Hey, the girl in the seal outfit looks cute. The last sentinel and the first descendant, huh? Oh, Nexon? Sleep. Sleep. Don't care. Fuck Nexon. Oh, come on. Show me some characters to look up gay artwork of. That's it. That's like that's your only use to me, Hoyover. That's your legitimately only only use. There's a bear. Cool, I guess. Hey, the girl in pink is cute, but you know, Hoyover. Oh, this is where that robot's from. The one that everybody wants to fuck. Yep. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. This is this is a uh, it's a Hoyoverse game, so like, do not care. You know the the shark maid kind of looks like Koki, kinda. Watching this be more Hoyoverse. Okay, hold on, hold on, we're cooking, we're cooking. Gundam? This is not Gundam. Fay! <laughs> Fay! Why? This looks nothing. Oh, come on, Fay. Nah, Fay's right. Uh, this is not Gundam! Gun no. barrel to jet booster, that, that's a Gundam right there. This looks like Zoe. No, clearly this is Evangelion. No, is this, this, is, is this Zoe? Is this the new Zoe? I was also thinking Liberation Maiden, Ash. I was also thinking Liberation Maiden. I was thinking Liberation Maiden, but like I think it's more likely that it's a Zoe. It doesn't look as good as Zoe, though. Like, it's not as, like, breakneck. But like I could also see this as like Konami outsourcing Zoe to like a different developer and this is like their take on Zoe.
Mecha. All right, so it's a new new IP. New IP. What do you mean? How do you not know that it's not Cyberpunk? Oh, that's what I mean. I was like, I, they were like, how do, how do you not know what video game you're playing, dude? Especially if it's like one of the like the most like marketed. Lads, Matt Lurtz <coughs> are the mature stage of a Bolcom's life cycle, having absorbed enough electricity that its own body has grown significantly. Their magnetic fields are strong enough that they're able to attract and repel non-ferrous okay? matter. The anatomy of a r the Riptera is not easily described. No, I don't, that doesn't sound like Troy Baker. It barely has a body to speak like of. Baker. Instead, more a tangled be web of claw-tipped like limbs haphazardly Halo bound 2. together Who beneath a stained Halo trench coat and hat. It's literally the same exact game, except we just made more maps and we're giving it to you all for free. Space Marine <laughs> In 1955, right, a family well, reported I being attacked by strange creatures at their farmhouse the in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. They described these creatures as having pointy ears, clawed hands, and large okay. eyes that glowed red. Stupid, I hate this shit. No, yellow. Sorry, I misread that. Arsene Lupin is a fictional gentleman thief from the works of writer Maurice Leblanc. The character has remained popular even to the present day, appearing in dozens of stories and oh, shit, uh, many adaptations. This guy's in a Marvel thing. He's, he's in something popular, except I don't can't put my finger. What? Uh, Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Oh wait, Alan Wake. This is Alan Wake. Alan Wake. This is Alan Wake. This is Alan Wake too. The Spire Wake. was in the Middle Ages. This is, this is, this is a Knight's Apprentice. They would assist their knights with various duties, such as okay, carrying like their weapons, and could become a knight themselves like if they like proved action. their skill. He's in like an 80s action music video. And, and these guys are all in it. Yeah. It, it's cool. It, it, I, I've seen this whole segment. It's pretty cool. Uh, are there any other hey. segments? He has a clicker. <laughs> Hourglasses or sand timers are devices used to measure a set period of time. They consist of two bulbs of glass filled with sand, and when tipped upside down, the sand flowing from one end to the other measures a set length of time. Click, clicker starting to. That's click. That's click. A mage or magician is an individual who uses magic. Are very commonplace in mythology, folklore, and pop Look culture. Foot Clan ninjas. The, the Foot Clan. They're, they're, they're here in Alan Wake. Man, I want to play this game, but I don't want to play Alan Wake 1. I want to I wanna experience Alan Wake 2 properly, but I don't want to play Alan Wake 1. But I have to, you know? I want to I want to explain properly. I want I want to properly experience it. I want to go into Alan Wake 2 with the right mindset. <laughs> it's the X-rated version where Adam Sandler gets dog trained. Can't blame you. I don't. I know. I was I was making the joke Ash was making.
like Alan Wake 2 has like a lot of cool stuff that I like like visually and like the kind of things it's doing I want uh, I want that in a video game you know I'm a, I'm a big fan of David Lynch stuff I'm a big fan of stuff like X-Files and it feels like it's evoking evoking a lot of that mm -hmm. except like seriously I would prefer it if they did it in like a silly crazy way like Deadly Premonition I would much rather prefer that but you know But I like like I have to play Alan Wake one, and I don't want to do that. I mean, I do you have to? And I want to experience Alan Wake two properly. I, I, like I, I, it looks good enough that I want to go into it with a proper like mindset of playing the previous game first, you know? Because mm. it's different. Like I like I like going through like games when I when I run through a series on stream. I like starting from like the first game usually usually. Mm hmm. So I can like see how, you know, so I can properly see it, you know, see how the game evolves, you know, especially if they do callbacks, like I want to be able to get the callbacks because they're going to do callbacks. And if I don't, it, you know, it, it's different. It's different if you just jump into a sequel and this looks good enough that I want, would want to, I would want to play. And I don't need to play Control, because I watched Mojave play through all of Control. He played it on uh, my PS5. And he said it was good. He, he liked Control. It like it, it's a good Metroidvania. Mm. What? Wait, is this... Oh. Omega Sleep. Omega Sleep. They said a game they announced a long time ago. I thought it was like like Perfect Dark. I thought they were gonna talk about Perfect Dark. Sleep. Omega Sleep. Mm. I don't know what this, this looks. So it rawr. Rawr. Uh, hey Tyrus, how's it going? Is that a flu? Uh. You I mean? One person who didn't like it, but I kind of don't want to find out in case. It's oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I. I think so. I don't know. I. I never met Flipper before, but I've been told that they're Gyaru's okay, sister. I don't know if okay. she was talking about that literally or metaphorically. You know. If you know, feel free to let me know in the chat. And sisterhood. So, are they not related? Yeah. If you're if, if you're feeling better, though, feel free to join back in, okay? Yeah. If I'm feeling better. Yeah. Take care of yourself. It right. was uh, well, nice well, meeting well, you well, for well, for well, however well, much well, I actually well, met well, you. Yeah. All right. Good night, sis. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye sis. I agree, Tyrus. Uh, they do seem adorable. Hi, Tyrus. Yeah, yeah, no, Fleur is adorable. I, I love her. So, are you actually sisters? Or. Huh? Are you actually sisters? Or. Uh, I feel like we shouldn't talk about that on stream. About. about yeah, 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 but not by blood. Not by blood. Oh, okay. That's all. Chosen family is real family. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But you know, I feel like I feel like questions about like you know blood relatives because I do have I do have uh, blood siblings. Rick? Yeah, at the same time, I don't know if that's good for stream. What is this? What is this? What is this? That's certainly a question. Kinda looks like Mass Effect. I can't. Mm, it. It's a first-person shooter, though. So it's definitely not. It looks familiar. Something familiar about it. 
No, it's definitely not Deus Ex. It looks too action-y to be Deus Ex. Oh, it's, 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 um, uh, 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 what's it called? Oh, no, it's a new game. I thought this was, like, like, Destiny. Hey, Tokage Study. Also, hi, Tyrus. Not hi, by blood, but by the bond that really matters. Love is stronger. Yeah, that's true. That's what they say in the Bible. Wait, what the? F Wait, is this Titanfall? Something about that armor looks familiar. Is this Titanfall? I said hi twice. Oh, well, you can get here's here's a third high. Okay, it's not Titan's fault. Might be that mech suit souls game, the Lords of Fallen Dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think is, is that game by the Lords of Fallen Dead? Yeah, this is um, it's um um fuck fuck. I forget the name. I know exactly what you're talking about. They made two of them. Oh my gosh, I can hear my cat doing something stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know the one that you're talking about. I didn't realize that was by the Lords of Fall and Dead. I, it's the it's the Mecha Souls like yeah. It's um the, the is it like Conduit? No. Nope. Never mind. It's not that. It's not that. Exoborn. It's some new shit. Sexo born, <laughs> more like sexo born. Okay, I've been on I've been on an Asan and Tal for like an hour. I can get back to it. I'm looking if you guys like like this one more. You know, I can I can make more for the Asan model if I want to like edit it more. Oh shit! <laughs> Faye got hyped. Faye got hyped for a second. They said, "Now we, now we have the voice of Loki," and you were, I, I bet you would have gotten hyped if you heard that. <laughs> but it's Loki from a different shit. I've seen so many fucking trailers of this game, and it's like, what the fuck is this? Hey, Matt Mercer, how are you doing, Matt Mercer? The Surge, yes, thank you. The Surge and the Surge too. Yeah, Ganondorf, Ganondorf, he was. It came first circle, full full circle. He was he vo he was Ganondorf in There Will Be Brawl, the web series, and then he was Ganondorf in Kirby's Kingdom. The name Den of Wolves was the name of the the wolf thing, but it's the the worst wolf game. The real wolf game is Tau. Tau, City of Wolves. That I'm I'm looking forward to City of Wolves. Monster fucker girl, girl for monster fuckers right there. Oh, it's a VR game? I don't care. I do not care. It's a VR game? I do not care. Why did you allow Loki to deceive you, Faye? Why did you allow... <laughs> what about act? I mean, I mean Marvel Loki. Why did you allow Marvel Loki to deceive you? Because he's hot. Oh, it got fishing? Okay. Okay, you win points in my book. You got fishing? You got fishing? We're good. We're good. You ain't you ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. You got fishing. <laughs> you can't find on Steam? I don't think it's out yet. 
Yo, you ain't so bad. You got if you're if you're fishing, you ain't so bad. I don't care about an AI uh, as an AI a VR game. I don't know why I said AI. I don't care about VR games. But you know, you got fishing going on. You get points. That's Matt Mercer's voice, yep. Oh yeah, yo, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm kind of curious, I'm kind of curious about this. I know Mojave wants to watch this, because he likes Fallout. Oh shit, it's this fucking guy. I forget his name, but I've seen him in other shit. This guy who always plays the really good racer. I don't know if this is, like, licensed music, but I'm turning down the volume. Oh, I see, that's the guy from um, Severance. I know that guy from Severance. Oh, doggies. We have good doggies. Dog dies, we hit the show. Cowboy man. The cowboy, the actor for the cowboy guy looks good. The cowboy. The girl looks uh, so weird. stupid. I hate it. <laughs> but he, he, the actor looks familiar. Oh, it's an Amazon Prime show? Damn, yeah. Amazon just needs any kind of IP. Shooting in a freaking power armor. Eh, why not? So uh, they have it. Dude, imagine how funny it would be if they, if the dude takes off his suit, takes off his helmet, and he's just like, and we have one new character to show off for the Fallout show. And it's Jackie Chan. Like oh. like Jackie Chan's in the armor, and then they show another trailer of Jackie Chan just being like like his character from Rush Hour fighting a bunch of people in the Fallout universe. No, I just want the I just want the guy in the armor just like leaning down to my girl. <laughs> oh no, imagine how insane it would be if the guy in the Fallout armor is the is the the, the Bill Clinton kid from last year. <laughs> Uh, he was just like, I'm back! I'm back! He just found a way. Alright, I'm back too. Welcome back. The, I heard the boy just macking something over. Turns out he knocked over a cutting board with food on it. But then also, uh, he apparently vomited directly under that. Aww. Okay, being real, it should be The Last of Us. It should be, The Last of Us TV show is really good. Anthony Mackie gave us a song of Instant Metal. Nope, it's Last oh, of Us. Like, get, like, like, if you vote, if, if it's not Last of Us or Super Mario Bros, it's like hardcore paid, paid for. Mm -hmm. Where's Pedro Pascal? And Pedro Pascal is, is refuses to show up because they didn't nominate Gravity Circuit for Game of the Year. <laughs> You have zero hype for the Fallout show. I'm I'm fa I'm fairly interested. I will watch it, you know, because I'm 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 gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch it because Mojave wants to watch it. Neil Druckmann, what are you doing here? This you cannot take credit for this. You cannot take credit for the show being so good. You cannot. You are not about to take credit for this. You are not about to take credit for this. Neil Druckmann. It, that wasn't you. It wasn't good because of you. That's a red flag for me, but so, so, uh, Tyrus, most teasers don't have plot or story or characterization. It's just, here's some imagery. He did work on it, but he didn't write, like, why it's so good is because of, like, the, the, the writing for each episode. The specific writing. You know, not the, not the show running and the directing. He didn't direct, he didn't write. He was, I'm pretty sure he was just the showrunner and producer. Like, no, most, most teasers don't have plot or story. Mo some do, some do, some do. 
but most the don't. Show. They just they just show off. They, they, they're just there to show you, like, here's some imagery, you know? For the first teaser, it always will be just some imagery. Yeah, no, no, it's actually rare for teasers to have more than one line of dialogue. Because that's, it's, it's just a teaser. It's just, here's your basic imagery. Like, most teasers for any media, good or bad, it will just be some basic imagery. And then the proper trailer will, is supposed to show you the plot, the characters, etc. It shouldn't be a red flag for you because it's like 90% of media care about literally anything else i mean like it's every trailer i'm not trying to get like i'm not trying to defend the show or anything but like this is just this is like any media movie game tv series anime the first teaser will not show you much outside of imagery monster hunter mobile game yep the monster hunter mobile game Dude, how many times are they gonna show this? Hold on, wait, 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 where's the first thing? One was Rival Schools, one was Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Death Run and Marvel Super Heroes. Yep, Marvel Super Heroes. I recognize so many of those. I'm not trying to defend the Fallout show. I'm just saying, like, like that's like everything. Or everything. Like, the first teaser will not show you anything more than just imagery. And maybe one or two lines of dialogue. It's the, the, the trailer that comes out after. It's the, the following trailer, the proper trailer that should show you stuff like, you know, dialogue, characters, plot. If it doesn't show you that, then they're in trouble. Then you're in massive trouble. Which, you know, it does happen. It does, like, it, I can't say that it doesn't happen. It, it, that, that do happen sometimes. No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky? Dude, these devs owe so much to internet historians. I'm just saying that. They better have like a shrine to internet historian in their house. You know, do you feel me? These devs owe so much to internet historian for making that video. You know what's funny? Mojave says No Man's Sky is still bad. He says all of it is just gaslighting. The YouTuber internet historian. I mean, but if that's who you have to be thankful for, I feel like you should just pack it in. I mean, no, You've kind of already he failed. He, no, he has reach. It's just he has reach and he makes good content. <sighs> Debatable. I did, I did watch the H Bomber Guy video and I found that funny, but like, you know, most people don't watch internet historian for like the information. What? Or the research. They want uh, satire. They want I, satire. I'm just too uncomfortable with anyone who has a huge fan base of Nazis. That's literally not. I I, I actually think that that's not the case. That's just H Bomber guy trying to present it that way. A, a, Internet historian is just like massive level of appeal, and you're gonna get a lot of those kind of people. You know, it's like cri there's a lot of people like that that like critical. Like, I wouldn't say critical makes like Nazi content, you know what I mean? Uh, it just makes me uncomfortable watching his stuff, knowing the company I am keeping. Yeah, but that, I, I'm, I'm saying that it's like that because of because he's just so huge, you know. You're going to have a lot of people like that. It's like that with like a lot of huge content creators. I wouldn't say his content definitely doesn't appeal to that. He doesn't like do anything like it, it's not like Seth. Seth, I like Seth, but he definitely makes some edgy stuff sometimes. Internet historian, I can't think of a time when he was like saying something bigoted, you know? <laughs> and he wouldn't be doing content with like people like, um, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Many kudos or, uh, I forget his name. I actually don't know most of these people, but, um, I know he wouldn't be doing content like many kudos with many kudos from like iPad Book if he was hyper bigoted. <laughs> But, but, I will say his inc incognito mode videos are way better than his main channel videos. They're like 10 out of 10 funny. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, so no, there was, there was plagiarism to be found? Yeah, yeah, I'm not even surprised that there's more than that. But people don't watch him for that, for the information. You know? People watch him because of the, the satire and the humor. Nowhere near as good as Gaming Historian, though. Internet Historian will never be as good as Gaming Historian. Gaming Historian is a fucking saint on YouTube. H 
H bomber guy definitely put out a hit piece on it. H bomber guy definitely fucked up inner historian though by saying like his audience is full of Nazis when it's not the case. But like that that's hella funny though that he did that. Ten out of good good shit, H bomber guy. Good shit. Moist makes regular content, but the way he carries himself, which is not bad, I can see him attracting Yeah yeah yeah, no, it's like like that's what happens when you are at the top of the game. You are going to attract you're going to attract like all walk people of all walks of life, including Yikes people. That includes Yikes people. You know, the bigger you are, the harder it is to maintain your following, and the harder it is to gatekeep. A cat has broken into my streaming room and has made himself a parrot. Aww. Oh, so, so new, new No Man's Sky game. Okay, okay. New, new, new game from these devs, and I'm already digging the aesthetic. That's cool. That's cool. Yo, I will laugh so hard if, if it's just a repeat. They just lie to you again. They're just lying to you hardcore again. <laughs> they lie to you hardcore Honestly, again. I would respect them more at this point if that was the case. Yeah, No Man's Sky, Yes Woman's Ground. At least it looks nice. That's a start. This. Like the giant... That's supposed to be like a humming? Yeah, like, you know, like, Johnny Baghead, most people will not reach that point. Like, most people will not, and, like, that point is, like, some people think it's, like, when you have, like, it subs in, like, the five digits, like, you have 70k subs. Some people think it's, like, when you have, like, 500,000, 500k subs, you know? In actuality, it's closer to when you have, like, 10 million subs. When, when it becomes to the point where you will start attracting, like, really yikes-ass people just because of how huge you are and how widespread your content is. But, so most people won't ever experience that. You know? Mm. Like, look at all the racist people that love everything everywhere all at once. Like, that's a huge, that's a huge, huge demographic. Look at all the racist, bigoted people that play Final Fantasy XIV. Another huge demographic. And don't say it don't exist, because my time in FF14, I definitely saw them. Not that they were interacting with me, you know, but it's like, yeah, like, oh man, I see, I see what you're doing. Light no fire, huh? So it's pretty much No Man's Sky, but magic. That's cool. Oh yeah, he's, he's stressing, he's like, independent team, we're not gonna repeat last time. No repeat from last time. Oh yeah, no, you absolutely can give him crap for the initial release, but like, it was overhyped. It was supposed to be just like a small indie game that got like, managed, that managed to get like, the wrong kind of marketing. The Internet Historian video? The Internet Historian video is pretty good about the whole situation. How much of it is plagiarized? I don't know, but fucking, but, but, but the No Man's Sky devs owe everything to that video. Hey, what's up, Seema Lou? Yo, why are we, yo, stop giving an internet historian shit, give it to this guy, give your shit to this guy. He didn't, did, say, did he respond for his, for his base and red pill Reddit account? Seema Lou? I don't know who that is. The, the fucking Shang-Chi. Bonjour. I, I think you can follow the walk of every week. Yeah. Uh, there was an H bomber guy video about plagiarism, but like it, it featured a section about internet historian, but the focus was on um, a content creator I literally never heard of. It's called James Somerset. But no, Somerton. But um. And yeah, yeah, no, internet historian definitely deserves to get like shit for it, but <laughs> you know most people don't watch his content for that. But yeah, no, Seema Lu, he had, uh, on Reddit, he, he said some uh, pretty base things about, base and red pill things about uh, gay people, and he never addressed it. Yikes. To, to be fair, they were made a long time ago, so he could have changed, you know, he could have, he could have just been going through a phase, so I don't, I don't, I don't judge him for it. Yeah, 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 he had sections, he had sections about several YouTubers, but the majority of the video was about that James guy. No, H Bomber guy made the video about people ripping about plagiarism. 
and by plagiarism it was more so people just going on wikipedia and then reciting the wikipedia as a video as content and um, it is very widespread and the video see see a lot of people don't get it like the point of the video wasn't to call out those people the point of the video wasn't to call out the people he didn't make a hit piece he was trying to say plagiarism has infected like so much of our content and we don't even notice it that was the point to make you aware of it but in reality it just turns into a h bomber killed this guy <laughs> you know what honestly pretty okay with that too I think I think I have I think I have the an opinion that we can all agree on. Plagiarism is okay if it's for a school paper. <laughs> if it's for homework, especially an essay, I think we can all agree no one should give a shit. See, I I want to agree there, but like I I was raised by a reference librarian. I was literally reinforced every single okay, day okay. it's never okay not to cite sources this is this is this this is part of it you were raised by a reference librarian so should you not know so should should okay okay wait 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 let me let me get my words out let me get my words out mm -hmm. so at, could you were raised by a reference librarian do you have faith in the the education system for high school and maybe early college college no so do you do you do, would you would you give people someone shit a, a high school student for plagiarizing their high school uh, geometry paper or whatever? I mean, if they're writing a paper about geometry, I think there's bigger problems. Yeah, you know, you're right. Geology. Um, I mean, high school no, but like high school is also theoretically oh. when you're supposed to be either teaching yourself or learning. The habits that you should eventually be bringing in to like any further education or but they don't, like but they're not the workforce that. yeah they're i know which that. yeah. like that's a failure of the education system as a whole and that's the one but that's the one we have so i'm not going to give anyone yep of course it's tears of the kingdom yeah but yeah like that's why i'm not going to give anyone shit for plagiarizing a high school paper. Yeah. Um, like, 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 you're just, like, this shit doesn't, like, like, I understand, this shit doesn't matter. Also, like, like really don't matter. what, what a lot of, there's a lot of elitism, too, when it comes to, uh, like, the superiority of traditional media as opposed to digital media for veracity, but, like, the fact is, for a lot of stuff, Wikipedia is a completely fine source because, like, there's so many people that actually really care about the field yeah, that, that are cross-limiting and checking each other, or, like, it's just such a narrow field that no one except the people who actually know and care about this stuff are putting anything yeah, there. No, that, that was a thing um, that first popped up when I was in high school. It first popped up of, like, teachers trying to say, you can't cite Wikipedia or internet sources. It doesn't count. You need to cite books. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> like, alright. Alright, even, even as, like, a wee, like, 15-year-old, I understood. Yeah, go fuck yourself, lady. Go fuck yourself. I'm Googling this shit. You're not gonna catch me. No, I'm gonna make shit up. Do you think H Bomber guy is really annoying? He can't. He, he does come across that way, especially in his older content. But his last two videos knocked it out of the park. Mm. The, uh, uh, <laughs> I know. I had to make Bibli. And you know that one really worked out too, because now I yeah. do want to kill Tommy Tallarico. Exactly. It's exactly. so true. I will laugh so hard if FF16. Yo, FF16 win. FF16 win. FF16 is not an RPG. It's barely an RPG, rather. Okay, whatever. It'd be funny if FF16 won. It's barely an RPG. Yo, Pikmin 4. Yo, Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Let's go, Pikmin 4. They don't want you to cite Wikipedia because they get people can educate them about false information, but like, like, yeah, but when does that ever happen? It's also pretty much 
again, for all of the important stuff, very peer-reviewed and constantly changed to, like, negate that sort of thing, too. This is this is a weird one. Sorry, I had to get up. Ma Mario Wonder. Okay, Mario, uh, Baldur's Gate Three is fun, but Mario. That's Wonder an interesting is... choice, though, considering that like Baldur's Gate Three at launch actually had really bad multiplayer. Are we talking like the actual launch or the um? Uh... Like how you if you start before recently, if you started in with the game, you had to then like. Oh, if you did a multiplayer game, you now can only play that file if you have all of those players there. Yeah. Okay. That was a pretty bad choice. But I'm, I'm, they did work past that. Oh, hey, that's hey, where you me. live. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Okay, yeah, I understand. Tokage Studios, I understand where you're coming from. Sorry, I kept getting... I, I, too much shit is happening. Okay, I do not care about this mobile game. But yeah, I understand where you're coming from, Tokage Studios. When you say you're gonna give people shit for plagiarizing because you had to do all that shit, hmm. I'm there with you. It's just I got good at it. I got good at hiding it for the classes I didn't give a fuck about. I got really good at hiding it. You gotta reword everything, everything, which is you know practically writing the whole like like. It, yes, it's writing the whole paper yourself, but someone laid out the groundwork. Someone laid out the framework, and when you're in when you're when you're an ADHD riddled um, fifteen year old. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the hardest part, is getting the framework for writing a paper on a subject you give zero fucks about. You know? I can't think of a single paper I wrote in high school that, like, bettered me for the future, that didn't just waste my time. Okay, kill computer, kill computer, kill computer. Did they ever figure out what the gears are guilty of? Oh, that... Th there is... There is a character that is actually the guilty gear. Yeah, isn't that soul bad guy? Yes, yes. And third Which I mean, ironic. He's not even a bad guy. Everything I know about this game's a lie. Yep. Shout Wait, out it's to the dog girl. Shout out to El shout out to Harada. Shout out to Harada. He he just he literally was just like, "Fuck your game, fuck your game. You think you're big three guilty gear? You will never be big three. Fuck off." Shout out to Harada. For those that don't know, Harada accidentally confirmed the leak this morning because he accidentally tweeted out, Elfelt Valentine coming to Guilty Gear Strive because of time zones. He tweeted that out this morning. Oh no. And I'm like, Elval Harada. He make, Harada makes Tekken. He doesn't make Guilty Gear. So he's just like, fuck your game, dude. He's snitching <laughs> on someone else. I think that's so funny. I'm indifferent about Elfelt coming in. I'm completely indifferent. I'm, I think her new design is great. I like that she's a dog girl. I just like that, you know, there's a furry now for some reason. Hello. She's not a dog girl. One of her likes is pretending to be a dog. Oh, that's what you mean. Yes. Oh, 3v3? Oh, this, this leak was real. People said this was fake. This, this was leaked a long time ago. People said it was fake, so yeah, a marble... New Dark Stalkers win? Never. I don't want. I don't want Capcom. I don't want modern day Capcom touching Dark Stalkers. Just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you're a bad guy. That's very true, Fate. Also, hey, Fate, how's it going? Yeah, there, there's an ongoing conversation right now about Strive feeling like a versus game because it, it has team game offense. It really does have team game offense, and now they're just like, okay, it's a team game. It's a team game. And 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 they want people. They want that Smash Bros. shit because they're innovating. Because Smash mm. Bros run a tournament for singles and doubles. So what if they just, like, they would have to run them in different categories. Strive singles and strive teams. I think oh, that the night, next... Guys. Good night. I think that the next game mode they should add is, um... They should add 5v5 to Guilty Gear. I would like that. I, I want to see a 10-person... <laughs> No, like the screen size doesn't change at all. It's hold just on, on, ten on, people on, in that on, one on, screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Old, old anime lady. We talking milfs or gilfs? Gilfs. Hell yeah. You are the bad guy, or are? All right, Tyrus, you can be bad guy if you want. I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. Good, good. By the way, not sure if anyone else has noticed, but. 
leopard print buff mom is quite out oh, quite quiet uh, huh so is this, this post game or is hmm. this like like where, where did, when does this take place I, i'm actually i actually do want to play this <laughs> yaru uh, apparently you're a little quiet and also a leopard print buff mom not sure how to process that but okay that are about as high as I can get around this end. Rising tide. What the? What is this? Are they adding like raids to a single player Final Fantasy game? Yo, Tonberry? Giant Tonberry? Levi of course Leviathan. Yeah, everyone called this. Everyone everyone called this the moment they showed off. There's no Okay, so there's two different DLCs. And one Genuinely, of them is really cool. I think my favorite thing that I've ever seen in a Final Fantasy game was when I saw my friend playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake Blind and she encountered a Tonberry in one of the quests. It was just the most genuine, raw fight or flight reaction I have ever heard. It was beautiful. Oh damn, I, I never realized how much of your pubes moms you can see in that model. Huh? I never noticed how much your pubes moms you can see in that model. What? You you your bones your bones in the pubic region. Oh yeah. You need to hear about Apex yeah for the stream. Sorry, I I the stream blacked out because I was changing my model. What we were talking about, there was a, there was a subject we were talking about. It was before plagiarism. I got cut off, but I didn't finish that thought, and I wanted to finish that thought, and I don't remember what that thought was. Too many too many things are happening at once. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. Don't use ChatGPT, Tyrus. Don't use ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. Like people have already ruined that for everyone else. Very like, true. Yeah, you can't use ChatGPT because they might make shit. It, it might just like say some stupid shit. If you want, if you want to get away with plagiarizing your high school paper, you have to reword everything, literally everything. You can't even have one word be the same. We were talking about H bomber guy, right? Killing people and shit. Him, him doing it, not me. Something like that. I don't remember. Best game, of course. Yeah, of course, Alan Wake too. Of course. It was either Alan Wake 2 or Tears of the Kingdom. Game Direction? From what I understand, Game Direction is like the people that want to do something cool and weird. And like, like they, they want to they wanna innovate. They want, and they want to stick to their bit. They want to stick to the vision. They're sticking to their bit and they're doing a cool bit. They're trying to do something new. That's what I understand. They want it to have a specific vibe. And Alan Wake 2, obviously, it sticks to that. Game innovation? I mean, I guess they good. You know? I guess they good. It, it, it is a bullshit award, though. Whenever they say stuff like artistic direction and game direction, it's just like, yeah, this should be cool shit. You know, we just want to hand out awards. Mm -hmm. I had to pick which stream to listen to because of Echoes. Totally understandable. I've got Yoru and the Game Awards both muted outside of the call. Are you- is, is V echoing through my stream? Through my mic? Nope, not. Not too much. Can you say something, V? Hello! Hey, everyone. Okay, but I don't think they're echoing. Okay, never mind. Oh wait, wait, that because oh, it was I wasn't talking, but it, my I saw my mic moving up. I think it was just me munching on the chips. Uh -huh. Hey, um, Sam Lake, can you guys remake Alan Wake One, please, in the style of Alan Wake Two, so I can like have a more pleasurable experience? <laughs> The what? I mean, that's loud as fuck. What? What is this? What is this? The finals, apparently.
Dude, they need to make a new award. They need to make a new award. Dude, all, all awards are bullshit. No, no, We're no, live no, no, from the Tech West Studios. Coast it's with our new bullshit, trainee man, Ranger, like, Beatrix. The talk behind closed doors is that like, Beatrix is a talented fighter in the ways of monstrous combat. What do you say, newbie? Shall we treat our dear listeners to an oral battlefield experience? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, like like Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll style. Oh yeah, fasten your proverbial seatbelts, listeners. He has an exclusive live performance. Only the most popular shit won. You remember a case beeps? What's case beeps? Oh. <laughs> like if you if you have fans voting on this, whatever's the most popular game will always win. So it'll always be Genshin Impact. It'll always be Fortnite. It'll always be Call of Duty. It'll always be League of Legends. It'll always be the popularity if you let fans vote on it, which is like like you need you need a committee, but the committee might not like you might not agree with the committee, or they might just get some wackos in the committee. Yeah, they always do that. They always have like a niche game win game of the year that deserves it. You know, like when they had Disco Elysium win. And Disco Elysium deserves it. Disco Elysium Absolutely, is one of the best yeah. games ever made. It's a shame that there will never be another one because the studio uh, was tragically made a victim of its own deal. Yeah, but it could be for the better, you know? Mm. You know, it could be for the better. Well, there'll never be another Chrono Trigger. A little yeah, bit of goofinese. Chrono, Chrono Cross is its own thing. We're not counting Chrono Cross. I like Chrono Cross a lot. It's its own thing, though. Why are they just showing this game that's just Las Vegas? Like, they're not doing anything weird or out of the ordinary. This is just what Las Vegas looks like. Sleep. This is sleep. This is so sleep. I'm leaving this. This is so sleep. This, this, this final game is so sleep. Yeah, no, no it's, li it's literally lightning in a bottle. Sometimes, mm. like, some things are just so good you can't really do another one. Oh. Planescape Torment. That's another one. Planescape Torment. Can't do another Planescape Torment. You're hyped for this, Red Nova? I'm, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. I legitimately can't tell if that's sarcasm. <laughs> Said no one. Yep, yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Said no one ever. Man, they need to have an award. Best instigator, H bomber guy. Also, how you doing, Soulfulians? I feel like it's been a, a little bit. Not too sure you vibe with it that much, though. Cassette Beasts, but like, said weirdly. Like, who could, who, who could you go after next? Oh, yo, Larian? Larian. OMG, no way, I just heard H-Bomber guy. Yeah, it, it's fun. I, I enjoy his stuff, I'll admit. Are they about to announce an expansion or something? Oh, I hope so. Like, I was not satisfied with how Carlac's story ends. I, I hope so, because I was not satisfied with how Carlac's story ends. They already fixed that. They fixed that, like, months ago. How? What? Uh, that's why they won Best Community Support. They've been at, they've been doing massive updates, like, weekly. I know exists because of... can't say I know what that means. What, what'd they say, okay. specifically? Um, Mauler? I don't know. No, no, say the whole thing. Uh, OMG, no way, I just heard H-Bomber guy. The only reason I even know he exists is because of Mauler, like, uh, like a mountain lion mole something. No, Mauler, Mauler is a very, um, is one of those based in red pill YouTubers. Oh. Yeah, where the kind of people that are just, like, media bad because it has black people in it, you know? Kind of stuff like that. It's always wild, too, because, I mean, like, 
The red pill is the one that makes you trans, bud. Yeah, and the name is yeah, yeah. The name is familiar because um, he got he got he he, he got a uh, he got his following through saying the most the most of a, a daring and brave opinion of new Star Wars being bad. Oh my god. Yeah, like such a such a unique opinion there. No shit, it's bad. But he was one of the first people to say it like that. Which, you know, whoever whoever's first gets the, you know, whoever's first gets all the attention. That's my understanding of it, anyway. I only know them is because one of the people that, that is no longer based in Red Pill that, that did content with that guy um, did, like, a very long video talking about why the current Doctor Who is really bad. And I did watch that. Uh, you just know he did a very in-depth and elaborate criticism of H Bomber Guy's video on yeah. I assume that's Dark Souls 2 and kinda liked it. Well uh, 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 I'm gonna tell I don't know who that person in your chat is, but I'm telling uh, you right Soulful now. Yens. Yeah, you gotta if you think Mahler if if someone like that does in-depth research, you're you're up up you, who who said this? Who said this? It's been a minute since the next since the Monster Hunter game. Someone in my chat, was, someone in the chat was literally saying, "Hey, you know, it's been a minute since the last Monster Hunter game." Didn't so it co go. one come out like last year? Yeah, I think so. That's you know, not. I mean, it, it, it was it was an update. Last year was an expansion pack. That was you know what? I think they yeah. should have to wait longer. Oh yep, yeah, 2025. You know Good. what? You called it, B. You Good. called it. You called it. You know what? That's too early. 2030. Dude, this is Colt. This is Colt Monster Hunter. He fucking loves Monster Hunter. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna go talk to Colt. I'm actually gonna go message him right now about that. Mm -hmm. Best announcement so far, though, is still New Shinobi. <laughs> A New Shinobi game by far. I don't know, all of the stuff that Sega dropped out of nowhere, that was pretty cool. Th that's what I just said! Oh. Oh! Said. Yeah. He don't curse us like that, I want a new console, Monster Hunter. Uh... But, yeah, but whoever said that in your chat, sorry I'm talking over the Monster Hunter people, I don't care for Monster Hunter. I'm, I'm happy for y'all though, you have another Endless Grind game that I can't partake in. Because Endless Grind, Endless Endless Grind, grinding for the sake of grinding, I might as well just do that in real life. I can't do it, I literally don't have it in me. If, if Monster Hunter came out, if, if the modern Monster Hunter games came out when I was like a teenager, I would- I'm showing it respect! I'm showing it! I'm saying it's not for me! I'm literally saying it's not for me, because it's an endless grind. If it came out when I was like 15, I would love this game. But I don't- I can't do it. I literally can't do it. But yeah, no, the person in your chat that was going off, like, saying Marlowe does in-depth research, no he don't. If he thinks he- if you think he does, he- I'm sorry, you don't know what in-depth research is. Yes. You know, Capcom, you've been on a roll lately. You've been on a roll lately. Here we go. What? Uh, I mean, IDK seems to have done I don't think Timothy I care for any of his other stuff either way. I just know I learned a lot watching like an eight hour analysis of H Bomber Guy's Dark Souls 2 video. Eight you hours, nothing, that's dude. way yeah. too long to watch yeah, anything. You nothing, dude. If, 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 the, if, if analyzing someone else's video is that much longer than someone else's, guess what? You're falling for, for you're falling for more, not less. You like them jangly keys, dude, in the chat? Don't say you don't, because I know you do. I know you do. And if you say you don't, you're lying to yourself. Not guy. for everybody, I get that, but I enjoy it. It's easier for the autismal no, drive to follow. That's Timothy Chalamet. You don't know Timothy Chalamet from Dune? And they ripped off his appearance for Lies of P. Timothy Chalamet? You mean William Wonka? Yeah. 
he, I, I want him to be like, Liza, where, he needs to come out on stage and be like, where's the lies of P-Dev? Where are <laughs> you? You owe me my royalty check. Where's my royalty check for using my appearance? I mean, if they do that, they probably are also going to have to, like, pay Elliot Page for Beyond Two Souls and all of Different all these other people. Yeah, I know, but Different. it's, like, sets a precedent. This one is funny because it's, like, it... Wow, what a performance! It's funny. It's Our it's listeners so loved it. Timothy Here's your payment, of course. <laughs> Timothy Chevrolet. Timothy Chevrolet. Yeah. I prefer my Timothy uh, Hondas. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, eight hours for your autism raid, like, dude. No, you got it. You got it. You gotta find better content, my guy. Oh no, those are separate people. Zero was talking about, I assume, Monster Hunter's grind. Oh, okay. I thought they were saying they were watching an eight-hour Malher video. Oh no, I, I think that is what that person was saying, but then it was like two separate people talking about oh, two yeah, separate yeah. things, well, I think. I'm saying whoever was watching that eight-hour video, like, if, if someone is analyzing someone else's oh, video wow. and it's like triple the length, you, you follow it, you're, 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 you're following for just like length equals better. Cause it's not i know i know them they're, they're they're in a meme they're in a meme where where um jenny nichols i don't i don't watch jenny nichols i don't i don't like her content but she made a 20 minute or 40 minute video about um i forget what movie i forget what the movie was and they made a 10 hour response video to it oh my god and i'm just like wow dude that's Let terrible yeah i know they're, they're like that that should tell you everything you need to know about this guy Damn, Tears of the Kingdom's music goes so fucking hard. Legend of Zelda music in general, I feel like, really frequently Nintendo delivers. Dude, this guy's a meme. This guy's a meme. You don't know this guy? This guy, this guy was in the other Game Awards going hard, and people love him, and I think he's great. He should go hard. Each their own. Gins. Yeah, no, it does longer, but Johnny Baghead, it doesn't take that much longer. It doesn't take 10 hours to debunk a 40-minute video, you know? He is literally the definition. Like, you see those memes of, like, a guy pointing at the camera and yelling, and it's just, like, a huge wall of text? That's who that guy is. But that's his bag. That's There's an audience for that. You know? And he's definitely hustling. He's definitely making money off doing that. So, like, yeah, you know what? Get that bag, dude. <laughs> Go ahead. Can't hate the hustle. Mine was P. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, AD Aonuma. They flew you out for that one other award. They flew you out for that one award. But yeah, no, no, um, uh, B, they did update the Carlax ending, like, a long time ago, because people were not happy with it, and so they made a new one. Like, does the ending actually, like, follow her they, into they hell, her and then yeah, you get yeah. to, like, they made, they give her a heart they, and shit? No, 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 you follow her into hell, and they do, like, an action movie ending. Okay. And then they, they made multiple versions depending on like if you're playing like like uh, if you're playing one of the party members instead of a creative character, the um, specific versions of it like they 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 they've been updating this game like crazy to add okay. very specific cutscenes. They up like the most recent update was the kiss update, where they just changed it so that instead of having one kiss animation, one or two kiss animations, all the different party members have unique kiss animations now. Oh. Because, you know, in real life, people kiss differently. Like, nothing but respect for these guys. They, they, yeah. update this game, they update this game like crazy. Still, though. Still, though. They never fixed the game's combat, because the combat is functionally broken still. It's what, Baldur's Gate 3? Yes. What's the broken part? Mid-combat, you can go stealth. Yeah. And then you can leave combat. And mm -hmm. everyone else is frozen in time. Well, you can do whatever the fuck you want, putting as many buffs on yourself, 
running back to the camp, switching out party members, and coming in like, huh, this situation calls for Gale. BRB! And everyone else is frozen in time. You can't <laughs> do this in D&D. Oh no, I'll show you my feature, Johnny Baghead. My favorite thing to do in Baldur's Gate 3 is, is okay, if, we, if I know this is a boss and we have to kill him, I send one party member to talk to him, and then I don't do anything. I don't, I don't pick any conversation feature. I switch to a different character. I switch to a different character, and then I surround them with my other party <laughs> members, get buffed up to get set up, and then I start wailing on them. Incredible. It's functionally like you can't do this in any D and D. You've never seen that happen before. I mean, uh, that one, that one, I'll push back on and say you absolutely can do that in D and D. Like you absolutely can start with the non-violent social approach and then be like, okay, well this is happening. My party is going to be buffing themselves up. You could. That part you could, but the other part you can't. Yeah, that's fair. The other part you definitely cannot. You cannot stealth leave combat. Okay, you gotta go to bed. Good night, Tokage Studios. And you have to leave combat. You can't. You, you have to leave combat. If you stay in the area and you're still in the combat, it doesn't work. If once you leave combat, you're off combat, and everyone else is still stuck in the turn order, doing whatever. They're frozen in time. And you can re-enter combat. And when you re-enter combat stealth, you are not in the turn order. Why is Whatever that guy in plate armor? Which guy? Baldur's Gate guy? He wanted to wear plate armor. He oh, to okay. Armor. He wanted to be funny. Good uh, for him. Trying to be funny. Yeah, no, yeah, good for him. Anyways, yeah, like it's been a while. Been doing your thing, same as ever. I'm glad to hear that, yeah. So I've been doing fairly well, I'll say. Fairly well. Yep, okay, so. I am probably gonna end right now. I think. Are you gonna keep going, Geek? Um, yeah, I've got like another 55-ish minutes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna send everyone over to you. Right? Yeah. Wow, I can't believe they got the Latino on this project. How are you? How, how did you? What was your favorite now? Hmm? Hmm. I, I thought they were gonna... Blade, really? I'm not surprised. Well, Mine is the Sega stuff, specifically Shinobi, specifically Shinobi, because I like the Shinobi series, mm. and it's a 2D Shinobi. That was my favorite All one right. Sega. Well, what about yours, G? What was your favorite? Uh... Hmm. It's my favorite new announcement. Um. Hmm. Honestly, there was just a lot of little things, I guess. Like, I wasn't blown away by any one thing in particular. I, I don't know, I, I guess I'm just, like, not, I'm not, like, super invested in knowing a lot about specific uh, devs or properties or anything. I remembered thinking about how, like, oh, Blade is here and they also did, like, that Robocop game. I just want to see them do that with other, like, 80s and 90s properties. Like, I want to see the Columbo video game. Oh my god, dude. I want a Columbo video game by, like, like Larian or Alcat. I want Alcat. You know, no, Alcat has to make the fucking uh, Skulls and Jackals game. I, I feel like the Columbo video game, I I want it done by Larian, but with the uh, Disco Elysium team writing. Yeah. Man, I would, man, a, a Columbo game would be so sick. Yeah, I, I, I I'll say that. My... <laughs> My favorite thing was the Columbo game announcement. That announced. yeah. Fraser 64 remake. Oh, that'd be so good! Yeah, yeah Sega definitely dumpstered everyone. Sega had so, so much. Oh yeah, that was impressive. Like, I wasn't, like, like... I, I don't think anyone's ever done that, where they're just like, Alright, here are five sequels to beloved franchise. Four of which have not seen a new installment in a very, very long time. Yeah, like, that's wild. Like, they're just gonna be like, yo, can you Shinobi, Streets of Rage 5, Jet Set Radio 3. Alright, sweet uh, dreams, Yens. It was nice seeing you again. Crazy, Hope to see you again soon, and take care of yourself. Four, right? That's the fourth or third. It's the third or fourth crazy taxi. So I know there's at least two.
I just hope at some point that taxi gets the help it needs. <laughs> no, they want to be crazy. I guess. Okay. Yeah, the clutch. Okay, but it's not the same with the, with those Silent Hill projects because <laughs> we, it's we. Ah, oh, no, you know what? It kind of is. Yeah, Crazy Taxi got the three. Okay, so yeah, so this upcoming one is Crazy Taxi four. So yeah, Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi. Um, Shinobi, what's the one I'm forgetting? Shinobi Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, Golden Axe, the new Golden Axe. Dude, that one caught me off guard because I thought they were good with Golden Axe. How much longer I'm streaming? I'm ending right now, Tyrus. I'm ending right now. Uh, I'm gonna go watch a movie with like Valor. So if you want to see. Oh, nice. Yeah. Power so. That was fun. I'm gonna send you all over to Beeb. He's gonna keep streaming. Um, no Bloodborne feels bad. There, dude, that's the hypercopium. You're gonna make a raid request? I was gonna send everyone over to Beeb. What's your request, Tyrus? Yeah, Tyrus. <laughs> Am I not good enough? Dude, Bloodborne is hypercopium. That's never happening. That's never happening. Oh, last seed horse is pushing for partner. Oh, mm. okay. But I mean, B is the one in the call. Yeah, I'll probably be raiding into Seahorse too. Yeah, no, Seahorse will get. Seahorse will make it. They don't need my money. They don't need. They don't need like my my uh, my account. My it. partner pushed its way further off. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I, I'm, I'm even doing one of those. No, I, I would never. I would never do that. Like maybe if I somehow organically got up to like sixty something people on average, but that's not gonna happen. And I just game the system. Just game the system. Get it, get it, get a friend that to, to, that has that numbers already. Just like yo, just raid me constantly. Just stream, then immediately raid me. Do it for one month, then you can stop. Do it for one month, then you can stop. Might be on to something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people actually do that. I'm sure like that's a thing. That like that's a whole racket, you know? And they're like yo, like like yo, pay me, pay me like a. Pay, pay me like 500 bucks per raid and I'll send you my raid every time and then you'll make partner in no time I'm sure that's a whole racket the twitch mafia oh my god yo we need to we need to find the mafia because they still exist we need to teach them about twitch I was unironically too scared to play bloodborne by myself I got as far as father Gascoin or whatever his name was and couldn't go further Progress slow to a crawl because you got ambushed one time and it scared you something fierce. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Carmine was the same way. Carmine got too scared to play Bloodborne. Oh. Yeah. I wish it, which is a little hard to believe, but you know, I guess. Why is it hard to believe? Just, I don't think Bloodborne is that scary. You know, because it's too, it's too silly. But, like, I'm coming from a Souls background, so, like, you know, seeing, like, a bunch of, the, like, these old British guys. I'm, I also have, like, in my brain locked in when Majin Obama was streaming Bloodborne, and he said, and he just, while, while playing it, he said, did British people take offense to this game? <laughs> I mean, like, it's not even, their everyday life. like, particularly British, I feel like. It feels more, like, more Eastern European inspired. The, their their voices are British. They're talking like British. Uh, they're they're saying like away away. I don't know. Like I look at Yarnum and I think, oh, that's just Prague. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It was it was it is, it is based on um, Prague is one of the influences specific. I have the I have the art book. Hmm. I, I read it when it came out. But yeah, no. Uh, Carmine was afraid. I don't. I just don't think it's scary because you have so many options to fight back against the monsters, and the monsters are, you know, it's kind of silly because it's, it's it's a Souls game, you know. Like one of the first big monsters you fight is a giant pig. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send everyone over to you, making sure I type everything right. Do you have anything you want to say, Faye? No. What you drawing? You drawing blade? Are you gonna draw a thick blade? Oh my god, you need to draw the blade cover because, like, you know, he has his back facing the camera and he's drawing his sword. Draw that, except he's thick. Ooh, <laughs> that would be good. Huge ass cheeks. 
<laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. What? What? Say? Say? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? I, you said I'm gonna? I said I'm good. Oh, you're good. Okay, sorry. I thought you said you're gonna, and then it cut off. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna, I might stream again tomorrow to, uh, to, uh, what's it called? To play Metal Gear Solid 2, actually, because I, I do like Metal Gear Solid 2 a lot. Um, outside of that, though, I got nothing else I want to say. Um, B, yeah, I'm sending a little off to B, so if you want to talk to B, she'll be right over there. You're, what are you going to be doing, B? Um, I am going to be continuing on with, uh, Cassette Beasts. We are... I don't know how much of the way through this game, but it's a lot of fun. Bimo Enjoyable like plot, great music. Bimo. Yeah. Bimo, Bimo raves about the Yeah, B Bimo is correct. Okay. I'll send y'all over, and, and you'll 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 still hear me for a bit on her stream. Seems you got a raid. Oh, from who? weird. I don't know. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Nebula Novare, for joining the Fluffle. Uh, hey, everyone. Yeah. If you're new here, welcome. My name is B. I am a taxidermy jackalope, brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do variety streams with the focus on roguelikes, digital artwork, and RPGs of all sorts. As my co-host, channel mascot Francisco, we're playing through Cassette Beasts, and if you're just coming over from Gyaru, which I assume you all are because that was the raid, uh, She's the bad bitch I pulled by being trans, autistic, and cripping, cripplingly depressed. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but both of you guys are gonna say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, bye, Faye. I'll hang up for a little bit. Oh, you don't have to on my account. I know that you're playing, or that you're watching a movie soon. Everybody. What's the next uh, rest of your week looking like? Um, I don't know yet. Looking... Yeah, I, I don't know yet. Tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play another Solid Two because I was supposed to do that today, but then I got hit up with the collab and a and game awards. I got game awards today, and I like mm -hmm. streaming the game awards. It's stupid. And and I'm looking forward to the announcement. I was not expecting good announcements. I gotta be. I was not expecting good announcements, and I got multiple good announcements. So th that appealed to me specifically, because like, like well, the only way they could appeal to me harder with the Sega thing is if they included a new Outrun or a new Hang On or a new Afterburn, one of those, like, or, or a new Space Area. I would have gone insane. I thought. I, mean, I was so wrong. I saw the crazy taxi license plate, and I was like, oh, it's a red hair. Red hair. And then, nope, they were just like, bam, dick out, dick and balls out, what's up? Five new games. That was pretty wild, though, yeah. Um, people, were, people, were, Elden Ring fans are disappointed, I just, I forgot about that. There was a lot of copium that they were gonna finally show off the Elden Ring DLC. Well, that's right, there was supposed to be a DLC, wasn't there? Yeah, about the, about the femboy. At least I think it's a femboy, I'm pretty sure it's a femboy. Oh yeah, 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 Mill Millennia's brother. Yeah, the blonde boy that rides, um, that rides, um, uh, the original owner of Torgal. Oh, uh, Torrent, Torrent, the original owner of Torrent. Oh. They ride, it, they ride Torrent princess style in the, uh, the secret screenshot they, they showed. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. You know what I mean by princess style, right? I think so. Where they, where they sit on it sideways, not properly. 
like like their legs are both facing one side and they ride sideways because they don't want to destroy their dress by riding a horse normally. I mean, fair. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like uh, Elden Ring fans should just, you know, you already got a DLC. You're fine. They didn't get a DLC. Yeah, they got the they got the PvP DLC. Okay. You know what? Fair. That's all I wanted. But they they released that DLC after my my really broken bug was patched out. Oh. What was your bug? The 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 clip showed a one where you could just it would it would stack death flight on people just by being near them remotely near them like it would it wasn't even that far you know it wasn't even like within melee range you could be pretty far from someone and it would still just rapidly stack death flight it was crazy like I would I that's like terrifying two days, straight, two days straight I did nothing but kill people with um with the death flight bug I just like oh. invade people randomly and just be like all right. It's time. You're trying to have fun here? No thanks. I'm the best <laughs> Elden Ring player ever. Only one person beat me using something remotely, like, on the same level of strong. It was the Sentinel Shield Stunlock thing. And it's the only reason because is that you can get Stunlocked by Sentinel Shield before what? you can get anywhere even close to, uh, to, um, uh, huh? Death Flight. <sighs> And like, like it's rare. You can, as, as long as you dodge the, the initial stun lock, you're fine. But I, he got me once. He got me once, and he got stun lock. <laughs> it was great. Ten out of ten. Though. I found I'm like, the best part is the name of my character was Friendly Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly. I like. I would like. I would just see people streaming PVP. Just go up and be like, oh yeah, what's with this friendly guy? Like, what the fuck? Is he hacking? How did this person do that? Stop! 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 experience. That's why <sighs> Elden Ring was my game of the year last year because nothing can give me that feeling again. Nothing can give me anything remotely close to that feeling. Mm -hmm. So what's the rest of the week look like for you? You just asked that. Oh shit, I did, that's right. And then I said I'm doing Metal Gear Solid 2 tomorrow and I don't know what else I'm doing. Oh, did- is Metal Gear Solid like a- uh, is, is it like a new thing for you, or? No, no, that's- it's like- it's the Four Souls. The only reason why I don't put Metal Gear Solid as my number one favorite video game series is because it's like the state of the Metal Gear franchise today. Souls is above it over over Metal Gear because of the state of the Metal Gear franchise. But before Souls was a thing, Metal I am Kojima's number one defender. I am Kojima's chosen people. <laughs> never do any wrong. Always right, Kojima. Always right. Yeah. He's the sort of guy that, like, he makes stuff that's absolute nonsense, but it's absolute nonsense that still has, like, thoughtful things to say, or at least tries to, so it's like, okay, okay, I can fuck with this. He's a true optimist, you know, like, you know what you're in for when you play a good game. Mm, very true. And, like, you're like, this doesn't apply just to Metal Gear Solid. I mean, that was my exposure to him, Metal Gear Solid. This applies to all of his games, so I'm talking about Snatcher and Police Knight. Mm -hmm. Those games are fantastic. Well, the Snatcher is much better than Police Knight. Police Knight has, uh, has Guest a Pixel, and I hate Guest a Pixel. What's Guest uh, a Pixel? Guest a Pixel? It's, it's, a, he's, it's a point and click adventure. So it's like, you know, Guest with Pixel to click. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all about the memes! Yeah, I mean, that, that is how human culture tends to spread and be propagated. Shooting this angel to death with a suction cup gun. This game's fucking great.
Well, if you want to hang out, I will be free. The sweet. Finally finished doing uh, most of my crumble shopping today. So I am now free to just do other stuff too. the song. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. Must rise to the task at hand, you must walk just long. To the west your wings must fly, a place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, it's now empty. Venture there and head southbound, your wayward paths shall lead. A place where lost men have been drowned, where mud lies thick beneath. Uh, they, she, she said the thing. Of water on the land, near stones and graves, where you must be. Leap three times where you now stand, the path will open up to thee. She said the thing. She said, bend round. Bend oh no. Round, guys. <laughs> You shouldn't have done that, Ben Drowned. Oh, that's all right. I, I, that's fun fact. That is what? my dead name, and I have almost drowned before. What? I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's all right. It's not like a trauma thing. Like when I was a kid, I we have this family who we like frequently just did like get-togethers with family friends that sort of deal and uh they had a pool i at the time and still really can't swim because i don't have i guess enough body fat or like the right area of flat fat to like float so like i slipped off a float i went underwater and then i sort of just have like part of my memory where I blacked out until I uh, until I got back up to the surface and I don't know what happened hmm. oh, but, uh, look at look at the only the very last message I sent you ignore the other ones Sweet. look at the very last one only the one the one I spoiled the, the fun fact okay understandable understandable that's fair I don't blame you. And oh, huh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's neat. Yeah. You had a nickel for every time that happened. I am so proud, though. I finally managed to make a really solid Ajitama. Well, actually, actually no, a not solid Ajitama. That, that's part of what made it good. Hey! Oh, hello! 
the dear child. Well, uh, hi everyone. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Spee. I am a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do variety streams here with a focus towards roguelikes, digital artwork, and RPGs of all sorts. I do... Uh, well, tonight I've been doing, rather, a uh, continued playthrough of Cassette Beasts, Totally Blind. I was talking about the video game awards, for whatever that's worth, uh, before that. This is my co-host, Channel Mascot Francisco. That's Gyaru Garo. She's also a VTuber and one of my partners. And yeah. You were playing some Baldur's Gate 3. Nice, nice. Hey, Pan. Oh, come on in. Make yourselves comfy. Playing and... the game of the year. Right there. Playing the game of the year. Yeah. yeah. I, I, was pretty, I was pretty excited when Neil New, Newborn won. <laughs> the theory on the win. I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty hyped about that. I'm Honestly, it, it is a phenomenal. Like, I don't... Like, I went into that game not really particularly caring about Asterion just because, like, he, he's a catty gay guy, you know? It's like, fair, yeah, yeah. that's definitely something for some people, it's not really anything for me, but, like, then he actually starts talking, it's like, oh, oh, this is actually weirdly charming. Okay. He's a bratty, he's a bratty gay person that's also very witty, and, and he has a lot of trauma that's, like, you know, like, legitimate. Yeah. Like, he... he and I think one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite bits, let me see if I can get, uh, the line. There is a specific line that happens if you, uh, if you get Asterion killed with a s orbital space laser. Wait, is it the one where, yeah, yeah, the space laser one, and he was just like, do you have any idea how- Yeah, I, I, hold on, I, I want to play this real quick. Let's see. Do you have any idea how much that hurt? Well, apparently there's a limit. Somewhere between a nice summer's day and the full concentrated power of the sun! <laughs> Next time, just warn me before you do something stupid. At least then I can get out of the blast radius. Now, shall we go? Or do you have any other chaos you need to unleash here? Gladly. It's just such a catty line delivery. I fucking love it. I, I, you want to know one of my favorite lines from Asterion? I'll send it to you. Sure. You know, we'll have to try to play that together now that I have the game. Oh, uh, uh, I, I, got, I got a special version of the game. Oh? Yeah. That means... Uh, uh, Lewis gave it to me. Oh. Yeah. So it's just extra porn, or...? <laughs> yeah, it's the version with extra. It's the, the, it, has, it includes the Carlac Asterion pegging scene. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't expect Neil Newborn to get uh, nominated over Carlac, because I figured Carlac was more popular, but, you know, I prefer it. I prefer it this way. <laughs> I'm pretty happy for him. Have you watched the, um, D&D? I have not watched Hello. the uh, they play D and D thing. It's it's really good. It's it's better than Critical Role. It, it's honestly much better than Critical Role. Like like, like it, they all 
even though most of them don't know the game, all of them are, uh, they don't know how to play TNT. They're all, they're good role players and they know how to make funny situations, funny entertaining situations. Ooh. Especially Mule Newborn, he takes up a little too much, uh, so when were they turn, just he embellishes playing their a lot. characters? They were. They were. They made it. Was, it was okay. officially sponsored by Larian. They. They had like it's pretty much Baldur's Gate three the OVA. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, they have. It's like a whole funny, very funny, hilarious side story because you know they're they're allowed to be really funny with their characters. And it, the the only one that feels a little bit different is is Gale. Because Gale's actor is just like, you know, a sweet, god-fearing man. You know, doesn't doesn't know too much about D&D or magic stuff. Yeah. And he, get, he succeeds on his first detect magic role. And this is what Gale, it's canonically, this is what Gale says in character to, to let the other party know about the magic he saw. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, big magic up ahead. A lot all of magic right. going on here, big magic. That's all he says. <laughs> <laughs> Not in character at all. I'm like, all right. It's just Gail's having an off day. Gail, uh, Gail, after a few drinks. You know what? Understandable. Yeah. Luckabilly. Wait, I I found a rooster that has a switchblade for a tail. Awesome. I love him. I will say though. I'm like, because I know a bit about the voice actors in real life because of the D&D thing, mm -hmm. I... Shadowheart is absolutely her character. Because she is, she is a, a young millennial lesbian with a goth GF a once in, in a... real life, and that is just Shadowheart. That, that is just Shadowheart. I feel so bad for her, though, because I'm not, I'm not able to think of her name as being something other than Shark now. And like she deserves better than that. She she can't help it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I would like Shadowheart, but like there's too many there's better options in this game, you know? It's unfortunate. Oh, I but, just like the name. I know, I know, I know. I know. She deserves better. But I, also I, I'm I'm definitely uh if you don't have any thoughts for the rest of this week I'll hit you up. What? I'll uh, I'll definitely hit you up later for uh stuff. What kind of stuff? Uh stuff of uh, degrees between uh comfy socializing fluff and uh you you can't say that on Twitch. Uh, Tyrus, can you translate for me? <laughs> uh, from socializing and doing stuff with you to word fucking. <laughs> Is that clear? No, I no, I I was clear from the start. Okay. I just wanted to make you say it. Oh, you little rat! Yeah, gonna have to punish you for that. Oh yeah, I'd like to see you try. Uh, That's it, uh, young lady. No video games for a week. Oh. The only time I play video games is when I stream. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like the other, like like the if I'm playing a video game when I'm not streaming, it's something on my Switch. It's and usually it's F zero ninety nine, game of the the real game of the year, F zero ninety nine. Well, you you know it's like uh, it's a bittersweet, but at least they finally got a game that's technically new. No, it's really good. I, I honestly, on God, believe it is. I've played all the other F-Zero games. I think this is one of the best. Mm. It's one of the best F-Zero games. I haven't played all of them. I'm, I'm, I'm lacking on the GBA games. I'm going to quickly play this voice clip from Mysterian that Yaru sent over. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Okay, so there's a drow. Every day. A drow himbo. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Meadow Baranzan love trick. <laughs> love trick? And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps okay, we could... Okay, so this is just a 
so so far this is just a drow couple doing the hey me and my partner couldn't help but notice you and we love your vibes do you want to like something to an agreement dude it's so weird that halson does that so often in the game like if you if you i've not seen that in any media ever where mm -hmm. if you have Halson in your party with you and you're going off to have sex, he's just like he just walks up and is like, "Can I come too?" <laughs> like like in, in like in, in that kind of inflection, like that that bit from The Simpsons where they go to pick up Marge's mom from the old folks' home Aww. and then they come out with the wrong lady and the lady's just like, "Can I come too?" It's that same style. Because House Halson is a weird guy. He's a very weird, he's a, he's a lovable weird guy. But he one is, thing I will say though, yeah. I was. So freaking pissed when I finally saw his character sheet and saw that Halson, this like six foot ten, big muscle gut, huge arms and biceps and shit looking ass motherfucker only had a ten strength. Yep. Okay, being it's big and bullshit. I think being big equates He was to built calm, like I a think. lumberjack. I think okay, it's I, false from advertising. From my understanding, being big is more of a con thing. That's more of a con thing. But he has muscles. I, that's more of a con thing. I think muscles is con. I mean, yes, to an extent, yeah. Because because of how uh, how you have to what you have to do to get muscles is more of a con thing. You could you could still be physically strong and not really have um, like abs. But you know, it could be. I, I, I could be. I could be. I could be bullshitting. I guess, but like, the guy has a gun show. Oh, right. play the rest of the clip though. You know, didn't get to the best part. Wait a second. Did Kojima do something with the thing? What thing? Oh no, never mind. It was just a meme. I got excited for a second because. At for a second, I lived in a world where Hideo Kojima was making a video game somehow connected to the John Carpenter movie, The Thing. That would be amazing. That would, that would, that he, would be amazing. He would love that shit. I mean, that that's a man that needs to be making video games based off of 80s movies. That's like, he would okay. he could die happy. I don't think this is a hot take, but in very few, the only other person I know that has said this is Lewis, is Mojave. Mm -hmm. And it's that Hideo Kojima n wants to and needs to be making music videos, mm -hmm. like directing them, because like he's really, really, really good at that. As we saw with Metal Gear Solid Five, and I could see that, yeah, all of the trailers. Oh, good he, night, yeah. and good night. Did you play the rest of the clip? All time. right, so <laughs> we want both of you, silly. At the same. Okay, time. so yeah, it's. <clears throat> it's Sorry, Pat. I'm, I'm not quite comfortable with doing this again yet. Oh. <sighs> oh. Don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be nice back. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that's really endear endearing. <laughs> And it's also because he said that because um he he has he has trauma because of Casador yeah. and th that scene is different if you if you do it after you kill Casador oh yeah because um he thinks he's he he for he tries to force himself to get over his trauma and then because mm -hmm. he literally says now that I've been thinking about trying stuff like this again now that Casador is gone but like he he in the middle of it he says he's not fully there like it when you're having the the foursome mm -hmm. he's uh he's not really uh into it. Because he's not he's not Polly he's not Polly but he thinks he, he's trying to force himself to get over his trauma. It's very well written. This game is insanely well written when it comes to stuff like that. To the I, character I trauma. love the the top comment here. He he's a rare example of I can fix him and actual actually being able to fix him. Oh yeah, no, no, you can you can fix him or make it worse. He's like like his his whole story is like huge. Like you can like a lot changes and like. If you if you play it as him, a lot changes too. But like, if you play as him, you can be worse with zero consequence. One thing I did, did find funny is that um, if you go with like the the redeemed Asterian path, you know, make him a good guy and stuff. He is pretty open to at least trying polyamorous stuff. 
you know. Hello. He's not, he's not gonna get on your case about it, especially if you have sex with a succubus. Well. And actually, like legitimately, like oh shit, dude, I don't blame you. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know. But when if when he becomes uh, if you choose to go evil Asterian and becomes he becomes the ascended vampire, he becomes oh, the yeah, bad he, kind of monogamy. He's he becomes the, like. He, he, he becomes possessive. every. It, it's the full cycle of abuse. Thing. Yeah, possessive. Yeah, possessive partner. Extremely possessive. But you get the option to kick him in the balls at the end of the game if he's like that, and he and he he hates you forever. And he's that, but it, like it's his one weakness. He's he's legitimately like oh yeah, like high pitched cartoon voice. <laughs> My one weakness. And don't and forget you know, full peen, says Tyrus. Give me the full you, poly harem. Damn it. Yeah. You can! No, you can get a poly- because Halson and Shadowheart are legitimately polyamorous. And all of the people in YouTube comments saying Shadowheart isn't polyamorous and actually gets mad at you for having sex with a succubus, it shows how little sex they have. It shows, like, how little, like, how they've never been in a relationship with a girl before, you know? Because she she is very openly polyamorous. She is very much multiple times throughout the game. She wants to have a, a uh, orgy in house, in. and she there are multiple polyamory sex scenes that you could have in the game. And Shadowheart will be like, she'll bring it up. She'll be like, yo, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm about it. You know, as long as there's consent and we talk about it beforehand. She's only mad about the succubus thing because you do it without her consent. You do it. You do it without telling. Her. And she says as much. She says as much. She's like, yeah. Um, why didn't you talk to me about it first? I would have been okay with it. Because, you know, I get it. I get it, you know? Like, like, how often are you going to be able to sleep with a succubus? And get away with it. You know, she, they won't kill you after. We are now also uh, Gundam dogs. Thought I'd uh, yeah, I, I noticed. I do, I do like I do like that the, the GM used socks that you had. I like, I like that thing quite a bit. You yeah, know, permission is sexy, you know? Communication is sexy. We love, we love communication. Remember, chat, consent isn't just sexy. It's also fucking mandatory. And communication is good too. If you are like me with multiple partners, you gotta, you gotta talk to your other partner. Especially when you go do stuff with people that aren't your partner. Cause I, I, some, some people get around like that. Especially, especially my friend of mine said this before, but um, he says uh, tra trans women have a very unique kind of horny for each other. You put two trans women in a room together, you know, and assuming one of them isn't like turbo racist, they will be a, uh... you know, you know, be, you know what I mean. I mean. They're not wrong, but it still feels... It still feels like you shouldn't say it. Yeah, yeah, it's literally The Simpsons bit. <laughs> you know? They're not wrong, but they shouldn't say it. But, but, it, but it is true. You know, many... I mean, fuck, four out of five of my partners are trans women, so... Huh. Yeah. Tea truly do be for tea. And all of my, uh, my, uh... My friends with benefits, they are... Thank you! That? Yeah, almost all of them are, like, I think, like, all but one of them are trans women. Do I have a type here? I have lots of types, but I, I do. I do. Am I just collecting them all? If I was, I would... I would femboys would like me. Femboys would like me if I was collecting them all, but they don't. Or, or if they do, they're just like, actually, I'm not a femboy, I just came out as trans. That has happened to me twice. That, that is one of my favorite TikToks, I gotta say. What? Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find it. Wait. Yeah, no, that, that has happened to me twice, where there is a femboy that expressed interest in me, and then we're talking, and then, you know, suddenly, all of a sudden, they're just like, oh yeah, I'm not a femboy, I'm trans. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm happy for you, but I'm just like, oh, how does this keep happening to me? <laughs> This man is a different story. Like non-femboy men, masculine men, there's so many that like me. 
There's so many that are, that 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 would do anything for me at the drop of a hat, you know? Simps, simps, that's what I'm looking for. I got plenty of simps. I love, I love Fuckabilly, by the way. I love that button. That, that, that's I know, right? fantastic, yeah. I got one of those. I'm looking forward to seeing what it becomes. I, First I, I though, can't I, I gotta catch better. this absolutely delightful little pumpkin. Metroidvania abilities. Uh, pumpkins are created when the jelly from the jelly team is smeared onto a regular pumpkin killing its sentience. It's a curious and friendly being that never seems to stop moving. Oh, okay. Sure. Now climb up walls with sticky vines. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, B. I think I'm gonna go head out. But I'm gonna go make some dinner in the morning. Right. I'll talk to you again. I'll be about, I'll be up afterwards. Yes, about many points. Yeah, sure, of course. I am down okay. there and got this weekend. Have fun. Alright, I love you, B. Oh, yeah. right. mm -hmm. We're 3D. That looks weird. And it's pretty cool though, we can just climb shit now. Alright, well, let's go back into town and then rest up so we can remaster those tapes. Monster fusion is pretty exhilarating. Yeah! Yeah! It's like a real manifestation of our inner strength. Like in the heat of the moment, our aims align so closely that we can literally become one powerful force. Sound like an anime character <laughs> right now. Man, I'm trying to be earnest here. 
reply to Gyaru, she's collecting trans terms, talking about them boys. Eh? I think I spent too long living without giving back, you know? Maybe I'm making up for lost time. Uh, what was happening on your uh... Uh, Don't worry about it. We can talk about it another time. <sighs> I'll go back. To my world, I mean. Once you find your doorway out of here, of course. I'll bring my cassette tapes with me, and I'll stand up for the people who need it the most. Like a monster-shaped superhero? Like a monster-shaped superhero. Yeah! Sounds pretty badass, doesn't it? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, my, I didn't think we had earned that yet, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, mom is... <laughs> oh, that's so cute! It's a little bomber pilot! Oh, I love him! Hello! <laughs> Alright, so we are going to be continuing on from here uh, next week. Well, we've, we've only got like five minutes left. I don't think that's really enough to get anywhere else particular. So I'm gonna call it a couple of minutes early here, so that way I can show you the, uh, the TikTok that I was thinking of. Let me see if I can find it. I need men to stop. Yeah, yeah, okay, the, this is the one. So this is the TikTok I was trying to find to show Gyaru, but Tyrus, this is also relevant to, uh, what, to what we were talking about right now there. Okay. So Is Winona Powers, I'm a fan of her. Yeah, that should work. Being into me, okay? For I need men to stop being into me, okay? For their own good. Because once you become my boyfriend, you will not remain that way for long. Not even just because my turnover rate is higher than your average underpaid burger flipper, okay? It's because conservatives are actually right. Transgenderism is a contagious disease. I just keep spreading it on accident. I have tried everything exorcisms, prayer, to try and get me to stop being the Futanari Ramona Flowers to every <laughs> fucking man I meet. Listen, I am happy to be a part of anybody's gender journey, but when you come over to my apartment and see my collection of Pokemon stuffies and decide, ooh, I think I might want bottom surgery, that means I can't get railed anymore! Man, I am trying to get your seed, not the yolk from your egg! I love trans women. <laughs> Honestly, I would rather date a trans woman than a man any day of the week. You're in fact becoming more of my type. It's just when you decide that you want to start transgendering yourself that means I gotta cut you loose you gotta sail that sea alone catch and release I've been down that road I can't do anything to help you at that point just warn me about your intentions first because if I'm gonna put my mother through a community college course on queer theory just so she can understand why I have a boyfriend I actually want one okay I don't want to discover that my estrogen pills are missing because you wanted to see what it would feel like fucking women I need that that's that's what I thought that's what I thought of when you brought that up it's so true, though. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh, okay, I think it's time for us to start wrapping up here. Oh. But it's true, Tyrus. Uh, smoke bomb! Hmm, so true. So true. Thank you all very, very much for keeping me company here. I, I really appreciate it, and I, I hope that you uh, enjoyed yourselves too. I know I did. I know that parallel play streams like this are usually a little difficult to follow, let's say, but uh, as someone who's autistic, 
parallel play is a really great way for me to just be able to, like, enjoy people's company without having to just be super hyper fixated on exactly what's going on, you know? Like, just both of us doing our own thing together. You're gonna plunder your partner's prostate. <laughs> the least they can do is return the favor, you know? I mean, fair. W would you accept store-bought if they can't provide homemade? <laughs> Fun fact, I li uh, yes? Nice. Get that. I think that's why I like just listening in Discord calls. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Too sweet. <sighs> also, fun fact that I learned not too long ago, uh, that uh, apparently uh, FTM HRT actually causes the body to start producing like the cells that make up a prostate so like e trans men can grow their own prostates i don't know i thought that was cool anywho let's see about who we're gonna raise yeah i, I only heard about it recently myself Let's see, who do we want to raid? I mean, I could raid... I could raid Seahorse. Oh, uh, they're also, like, already doing pretty well, and maybe I should try to raid someone who could use Sail. Once had a... had a bonding moment with non-binary tuber about your prostate? I'm sorry? Um, you're gonna need to elaborate on that one for me? What, what, what do you mean? Need 75 plus viewers for partner? Alright, well, let's see, how many do we have here? Uh, we have 13. So that would bump them up to, like, 66. Pebbles already have a bundle of pleasure nerves back there. They're just not connected straight to the primary. There. Uh, let's see. Let me see also if uh, it's going to let me connect. Uh, you know, I do like Area of, Area of Sorrow. Okay, yeah, we, we can raid into Seahorse. I, I like this game. It's a fun game. Alright, uh, so could I please have someone give me a socials command? Thank you very much. Alright, so the first link there is my card. If you would like to check out pretty much everything I do in one fell swoop, or if you would like to get in touch for commission work, use my card. Fingers tried to project and give you an A social command. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, so my second link there is the Discord. I'm pretty much always on there. Like, always on. Th if I'm awake, I am on there. And if I am on there, nine times out of ten, I'm looking to talk with someone or hang out or share stuff with people. Because, uh, let me tell you, I... I'm prone to be a very lonely person. I enjoy the company. Uh, then we've got the Twitter. It's a shit show, uh, but it's still 
where I primarily post my schedule, some of the artwork I make, some of the other stuff I just work on in general. And, uh, you know, if you use it, may as well. Let's see. Then finally the YouTube, where I put my VODs when I remember. Hey, I should probably put my VODs somewhere. Yeah. Alright, so. All of that said. <laughs> uh, I am turning the stream over to Auntie Griselda tomorrow. She's going to be doing a flex stream. She hasn't told me what she's going to be doing specifically beyond that. So I'm not totally sure. Um, it, it might be Escape Simulator. It might be Yakuza. It, it, there, there's a bunch of things that it might be. I don't know what they are, but... If you're interested in spending some time with, hopefully, if not your favorite goblin auntie, at least, I don't know, maybe like the top ten, top five even. And uh, that will be again Friday, 2 p.m. EST. Hope to see you there. Okay, so we're going to be raiding the last seahorse because they are doing a partner raid. Or they are doing a partner push, rather. If you're coming along for the raid, here are some raid messages you can use. Anyone is able to use the first one. And if you got a subscription here, you can also use the second one with the emotes. <sighs> but yeah, again, thank you all so much. I had a wonderful time today, and I really, really do hope that you did too, because I, I couldn't do this without you, so I really hope that y'all are enjoying yourselves with it as well. I don't know what I am even saying anymore. I'm just kind of in that state of uh, a lot of emotions, I guess thank you all. I, I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves too, and I really hope to see you tomorrow, well, Friday, at 2 p.m. EST for some Auntie Griselda. But until then, take care of yourselves. Here's a hug. <laughs> a smooch. And until I see you again, take care of yourself, because somebody really cares about. Alright. I love you all. Goodbye!